Dice are out of order. Dice were out of order. The You're problem. out of order. This whole dice system is out of order. <laughs> so when uh, I, left... I officially forgot dice, so I'm going to have to use the roll 20 thing. Are you traveling? Yes. Where, Where are, are you? you? Uh, Dallas, Texas. Oh. I feel like you just came out of Texas. I kind of did. I feel like you might know the area. Wait, no, you, you're several hours away. You, you yeah. should go to the Solium User Conference in Austin. Yeah, no. Mike, do you have more travel to Dallas over the next year? Or the next couple of months? Uh, possibly, yeah. Because I think I have to go there for a week sometime in January or February. Oh, it's a date. You guys... Oh, okay. you guys... Will... Let, me, let me know, Bob. But to answer your question earlier before I lost you, yes, I did get... Uh, the package, oh. but then I flew out like it was Christmas and I didn't want to call you. <laughs> and then I flew out on the 26th. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I went, was... down, to, uh, I went down, down to San Antonio to visit Daniel. Look how he tags everything. I love those inbox from self. That I do that a lot. very cool. Uh, I will send you the <clears throat> contents of uh, what's on that so you okay. have a list. Okay, perfect. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> Belated Merry Christmas, man. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, well, it's a very Christmas to all you guys, too. You too, Mikey. Hey, thank and Happy you. New Year. And Happy New Year. Yeah, we may as well do Happy New Year as well. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be flying home on New Year's Day. That's crazy. How lucky, how lucky am I that I get the travel? You are so lucky, Mike. <clears throat> that is dedication right there, man. Jeez. So, all right, I'm ready to do this. Let's kill things. Well, first we get blowed up. <laughs> let's, let's adventure and learn about new species. Oh, yeah. and Shut up and shoot. Let's uh, learn about new species. <laughs> and then we kill them. And then we kill them. <laughs> There's no honor in killing discrimin- indiscriminately. There is money in killing. You There's... can buy honor with money. No, you can't. <laughs> so much money. You cute little rat thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jules is going to be a few minutes late, so we're going to start without her. What happened to you? It's past my bedtime. Henry's Good passed poor out. Poor guy. He's so not when we last left our our group of adventurers, they had um, infiltrated the Fusion Queen Club, courtesy of Naala and Elise's wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. Costume, wardrobe, whatever you wish to call it. Charisma. Charisma. <laughs> um, and display. Scoped out the oh, place. No, that's how we got into the play. Uh, similarly. Um, Nala's P, uh, player put my daughter in an awkward situation. <laughs> Her uncle. <laughs> drunkle. drunkle. Favorite oh, drunkle. Drunkle. Jeez, that's catchy. Um, but resulted in a, in a uh, distraction allowing the, um, the Rat Pack and Ozzy to sneak into the employee's restricted zone, employee's only zone, where they encountered four downside king thugs. It makes it sound like we didn't just walk through a door. <laughs> <laughs> infiltrated. <laughs> Stealthfully infiltrated. How did you do that? We walked in. <laughs> uh, the resulting battle, which the girls did eventually join, resulted in minimal, minimal, casual, min, minimal wounds to you guys. Um, anybody who did not have a weapon was able to um, procure there you go. Good work. Uh, a weapon from the downed, downside kings. Who grabbed an azimuth pistol from these guys? Ailisi did too. Ozzy did, Ailisi, and <coughs> Nala. Uh, Nala. So we have one extra? No, okay. you have one extra. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious to sell my extra one now. Right? Don't forget, they sell for one tenth of the value. Ten percent. So you know an azimuth pistol is worth like three fifty. So you're going to get thirty five for mm. it. You need to sell ten of those to get a new no, azimuth, azimuth pistol. pistil. You should get, get ten of them. Then I'm going to sell it. You should. You should just figure out how to get the. There's a. There's a. Uh, a feat or something that lets you overload a weapon. <laughs> mm. You know, uh, this reminds me of like college books at the end of the semester trying to sell them back. You buy them for 50, you sell it back for like $2. Oh, wow. You went to school. Well, then they turn around and I sell did. it back for like, 45. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. But I didn't care because I had that $2 for beer money. <laughs> I just want to say, last time we played, I forgot about my uh, feet coronated shot. Plus one bonus to ranged attack for allies with line of sight against foes that I threaten. So try to try to keep that in mind. He's got I'll, a range of two. And with my get him. 
Oh, that could be a plus two. A, that's a plus one against one particular uh, adversary. All right, we got to remember this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I also got to say, FYI, screw the fucking planet. Okay, double-sided character sheets is a freaking bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. I, I am a huge environmentalist. And mine are printed on single pages <laughs> yeah. because I of mean, that. All about saving the planet, Jeffrey. I'm with you. But like the fact that I've adult, I like I have forgotten all my abilities and my feats and profi- I, like all that stuff that's on the backside. I don't think I turned this over, and then I realized, holy crap, what is this thing called? Second skin. And- <laughs> <laughs> if you recycle one cardboard box, that's like half a ream of paper right there. Like that's. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be reprinting that when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you you took out the four downside king gargs. You lined up outside of the door to what you assume is the office. <clears throat> and as you as, you, as soon as you finish lining up, preparing to, to barge your way in, a small door on the door <laughs> opened. A viewport or a shooting port? Hatch. Hatch. I always think hatch more down, but yeah. Hatch opened. Maybe it flipped up. A grenade fell in and the hatch closed. Wait, is it a pet door? Is it like a doggy door? Is there a little doggy on the other side of this? Can, can no. the Yosoki climb through it? Is it a rat <laughs> door? <laughs> it's kind of like more like a mail slot hmm. door, so you really can't get much in there. Specialty grenades. So we're living <laughs> in like a thousand years in the future and they still get mail. No, nope, the whole point of this is this. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, dead bodies. The grenade goes off. There's no... Yeah, kaboom. Uh, Kablooey. So, we, 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 we resume with the grenade has landed. Thank you, Reddit. The grena- <laughs> we, we did ask for, for, for feedback on this. Reddit said, let it roll. Um, Dude, there's <clears> rules <throat> for a reason. Yeah, uh-huh. Not grenades. <laughs> Boom! I forgot a sound effect for this, of course. Didn't get a chance. Oh, that was a, that was a great sound effect. Really yes. uh, Only two weeks. <laughs> Mike, Josh just gave Jeff the finger. <laughs> the grenade goes off. It is a shock grenade. Level one. Can I have the um, book behind you, Bob? Uh, this year? My book behind you on the couch. Oh. Yep. Which is a, I believe it is. Um, it is. I had a bookmark for extra reason. Look at that a bookmark. It's in here somewhere. It's a good thing my reflex save is a two. <laughs> uh, come on, where did I just had it in here. Jules moved my bookmark. Dex is my best mm. ability mod on my saves mm. and my worst save. That's good. You're sort of uh, fortifying your weaknesses. Yeah. So I want you to know I'm about to say something and it's going to sound very much like Joel. <laughs> how does this damn? How does this work? No. Do I do I add them together? How many feeds are you supposed to have again at level two? <laughs> I think you're supposed to. It depends on the class. <laughs> wow, how many are we supposed to have? Uh, I think Congrats. you should probably have two. One at level one, and one at level. Oh no, maybe not. That's no, I think you only have. I got. On your I get a combat feed at level two. Hang on, let me. Uh, I can go into the. I just have one. So I get an extra. I get an extra one because under my abilities, I took exocortex, which automatically gives me the skill focus beat bonus. Mm-hmm. So I should only have one other. One other. Um. I am creating a level two Soki mechanic with exocortex. Oh. With exocortex. So that we can confirm that. Why did I pick this up? I don't know. You're looking for your rule book? No, yep, I'm looking for the rule book. Alright, so for the record, the DC of the save is equal to 10 plus half the grenade's item level. A shot grenade is level one, plus the dex modifier. Of the of the of the person dropping it, throwing it. In this case, since they didn't see you, I'm not going to give them that benefit. It's a blind. Okay. So it's an eleven. I will. I'm okay with that. And it's a reflex save, correct? It is a reflex save. The safe half. Trigger. You're at uh, one feet at level two. <coughs> but you might get some feats as part of the mechanic class. Okay. I'll I saved. Twenty-five. Four. Sixteen. 
Uh, this is reflex. Reflex. I got twenty five. Mike, you roll a reason like save in case you didn't miss, miss all that. Amazing. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to hear it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, uh, then, my 14 then. for I at least see she saves as well. That with your dex, right? Well, it's your reflex save. It's your reflex. Oh, it's, so its, own, reflex. it's its oh, own oh. section. It is a range of 15, so it does get everybody. It lands on the square in which Ozzy is in. And fifteen from there puts him on puts him on the square Nala is in. I will I rolled, double check that. I, I, rolled my I rolled an eighteen, Josh. Nice. nice. Everybody's safe. For Gus half. got a seventeen. So how much damage should we take? Hold on a second. I'm making sure that I got the measurement <coughs> stuff right. Yes, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen good. works for everybody. Bob is covering up so you can't see it, but Oh, sorry. I believe you. Fifteen and fifteen. Can you guys see it? Now we can. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, it is Half of three. One or two? Two. We round up, right? I think you round up. Two damage. So the, uh, the shot grenade goes off. Oh, lightning bolts flare everywhere. Ooh. Stamina. Yeah, yeah well, stamina. Like if you have stamina. It's the same as if you walked across the carpet and touched something and got a little shock. Like a really bad one, though. Yes. Uh, I will mention uh, the ghost. He seems to go into slow bullet time, and as the fragments whiz past him... There's no fragments, fragments, it's a shock grenade. As the shock goes past <laughs> him, he manages to do a slow motion underneath, like Neo, because at level two, the ghost operatives get evasion. Oh. If you succeed at a reflex save against an effect that normally has a partial effect on you, you instead suffer no effect. Oh. You only get this benefit if you're unencumbered, check, wearing light armor, check, and you lose it if you are helpless or otherwise unable to move. So, uh, no damage for ghost. <laughs> oh, I forgot this guy's picture. Oh, well. um, after the grenade goes off, you hear oh, the door explodes. Oh. A giant vest kicks the remains that open. Looks up, He's almost sees, as big as me. sees Ozzy, oh. drops the giant cannon, pulls out his, wait, wait for it, wait for it, his assault hammer, oh, looks what? right at Ozzy, yeah! Oh, God. Cousin! <laughs> no. All for initiative. Oh. <laughs> Cousin laddie! <laughs> oh, man, I rolled a natural 14 on my uh, reflex saves. Anyone want to guess what my roll is on my... And it Mm-mm. half, then half again. Oof. I rolled two twenty, so I am. I don't know. If You're done for the that. night. <laughs> I rolled a natural one, and that's. And, and he's still he's still more than many of you guys. I rolled one higher than my initiative bonus. Uh, twenty-two for me. Hold on a second. I got to add them all back in here. All right, what trigger get? Twenty-two. That's already there. Hmm, perfect. Oh, because you rolled it in, the, in there. In the previous time. Yeah. I at least see... Where's the bonus here? Oh, natural one. Oh! I got a natural uh, one. She's got a different sheet than I do. How's that sheet? Worse. I yeah, know. I can read this one. I'll find it eventually. All right. Um, Nala. 26. What? Oh, you have improved initiative. Ghost. Oh, Natural t- nat 20. On top of the 20. Ghost right? got a 6, nat oh, 1. I don't know, she has the same sheet as I do. Her initiative is a 2 with that 1. I have a higher initiative than I at least see. Wow. 2. I just, you know what, I'm keeping this. You're done. You're fired. That's 5. <laughs> Ozzy, what was yours? 5. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Oh, man, I hate it when I can't get a name. Here. Oh, does she have her, her specials on here? Uh, maybe. By specials, I mean spells. Okay. Mm. So the uh, the Vesk, another natural one. <laughs> that was a good time for spells and things. I feel like it's a it's different. It's really dark where we are. It's really light where he was. It's gonna take a second for him. To six. Yes. He made a six. <laughs> uh, what's his uh, Dex bonus or his init bonus? Plus five. Ghost is a plus five as well. We are tied. Uh, eight plus and it fourteen. Nope. That's stupid. That was. Bob, can you move oh. out a little bit? I think we're gonna. That's always. Move up a little bit, maybe. 
And this guy is... He's not showing us what's through yet. I'll show you yeah. what's there in a second, yeah. Is that too small? Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Order descending, right? Jules, it's just in time. I just looked up energy, right, too. Alrighty. And I'll review what you can see. <coughs> Alright, look, look, you can see through the door into the storeroom, the giant vesk is taking up a great deal of the space. Um, 20 or 30 feet behind him is a, is a desk that's been flipped over. You can make out some person behind it. Bob has made it so you can't see the top of the screen. Oh, you just freed that up. Okay. Yes, I did. And you shouldn't see this guy over here on the side, but you can see him because I just revealed all the area. Well, actually, I should be able to see him. You should, but nobody else should. Okay, we'll play it like that. All right. How was it? Hey, welcome back. Was, you know, did, did you get you your get pizza? Hit in the head. No, I didn't. Did you get your pizza? The grenade just went off. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you took one damage. Oh, no. No, two. I'm sorry. took two It was damage. not a particularly effective grenade. Shock grenade. Uh, it's hard to even mark. Eight damage. I forget. Ten damage. Yeah, seriously. It's all right. Thank Give those you. to uh, the Jules. Oh, yes. My two character sheets. So I can all right. Um, I'll be right back. You know, if, if you didn't mm -hmm. have school, maybe you could have consolidated down to one. <laughs> all right. Nala. I say, the big guy. I say, get the big guy. Go for the big guy. Get him. <laughs> that is her, her move. So everybody gets plus one against the big guy. Oh, How long does that okay. last? Until next it lasts time. the next turn. The guy in the podcast uses it all every every time. And he always has a clever way of saying get him. Mm. This is like Jeff is trying to do. It's great. <laughs> uh, and then I will shoot that, that big guy. Well. Who, who effectively has cover courtesy of... Everybody. Mm. <laughs> I didn't think allies provided cover, but we'll have to look at that another time. That it's soft cover in this case. Okay. I'll roll. Mm. Oh, and and when you say when he says get the big guy, I would like to use a free action to say, "There's one in the back on the right. Watch the corners and watch your doors and corners." Mm. It's science fiction expanse reference. Uh, like six. It. Is it hit? Of the wall. I didn't say what he was hitting. Um, here's my pistol. Oh, that's right. No. It's actually not my pistol. It's the pistol I found. <laughs> it's the same thought. You tweaked it the exact same way you like yep. it. <laughs> nice. Now, trigger. Trigger. Uh, can he get in the room past anybody or no? I believe you can move through the space that Ozzy occupies, but you can't move through the space that the other Vesk occupies. Unless you have something that allows you to... Uh, a, a feat to do that. Yeah, or something like that. Um, I, I guess I do nothing. You're going to shoot? Uh, well, Ozzy's kind of huge. Yeah, but so is the other Vesk. You, mean, you, you, you we're could, both Vesk. Everybody's big compared to you. You can step to the side and have... Uh, then he, would he have cover then? Uh, you could you could yeah, ready in action. I guess, so I guess that, Josh has to figure out does he have cover just because, or is it partial concealment? Or hey, Liz is here. Everybody say hi. Hey, Liz. Hey, Liz. Good hi. to see you. Hi, Liz. If I did it in the hallway, do I have to do it again? What? Say hi, Liz. In the garage. All right, um, I'm going to say if, 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 if Mikey moves to the side, he has the, the, the vest does not have cover. We'll, we'll address it later. I'm not going to slow him combat for it now. It's delicious. So it does look so like I slide myself here. Are you saying that I, that I can take a I'll shot? I'll take it. It's awesome. Oh, 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 oh. No, I want that. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I ate it already. <laughs> That's nice. All right, I want to eat my chocolate Santa. Mommy and I shared it. Well, you share it. Then you can share this. Too. Are we gonna play? I right, seriously. We'll bleed that later. Oh, I'm not here. <laughs> oh, I rolled. And, and she has a bag of cookies. <laughs> I rolled a seventeen to hit. All right, you rolled a seventeen against his 
Um, EAC? His energy arm, yes. That is a tw his EAC is a 12. I'm going to give you the same triggers. You can use the same sound effects as trigger does until you give me one. You hit him. Dealing how much damage? Uh, yeah, these things suck for damage. 1d4, I think. 1d4, yeah. Just a note, Josh, I think you have me and Trigger confused. The one you've moved is Ghost. He moved it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I rolled it even in this, I can roll well. Three. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. So that's me? That's interesting. I can't move myself, but I can move Ghost. Not oh you know why? Because I never updated your character, right? He's got a, a associated with your character. Sheet. Yeah. I, I, so Josh oh, might be the only one who can move. You don't care right? about me. You don't care about me because I'm remote. I remember. Do you want to go? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I would. I, it wouldn't be fixed for anybody. He <laughs> said, so "Don't feel special." All right. Oh, trust me, I don't feel special. <laughs> <laughs> uh, based on the description, the person behind the the desk, based on the description you had heard of a tattooed woman is. You're only getting grips of it, but you believe that is to be Ferrani Nadas, the leader of the Downside Kings. Oh. So, uh, so she targets the first enemy closest. She targets Ozzy with her tactical semi-auto pistol. Oh, hmm. 1d6 damage, I think. 1d6 plus 1. Kinetic. 15 That's plus 6 is a 21. You have cover. Uh, yeah, how much cover do I have? Pl 2. Sure, it's not five. I'm sure. That yeah, hits. <laughs> Four, five damage to Ozzy. Oh, that's a good hit. Down to nine stamina. Nine stamina. I now have one less than I at least he has total. Yeah. The uh. This is. I, you know, I really liked being the one that was able to. The other guy damage. moves back here for cover. <laughs> mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. That's probably been <coughs> a little bit. He's going to target uh, Ozzy as well. 13 plus natural 13 plus 6 is a 19. Minus 2 for your cover is a 17. And this is, is this kinetic or energy? It doesn't matter. It's, it matches my kinetic. This is an azimuth laser pistol. Pew! Oh, that guy back there? Yes. Oh, wait. It's, oh, so it would be an energy. Yes. So it's, what was it? Four 17. Oh, yeah, don't mind me. I'm sorry. Yes, that hits. Four. Four. Brings me down to five. And then the Vesk in front of you takes his giant hammer. <laughs> oh, boy. And he's going to strike an awesome blow. Awesome blow. Is that the name of it? Really That's cool. a special ability. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to attack yet. Oh. I'm burning one of my bennies. Oh, come on. How many fucking bennies do you have? I have one for each of you. That seems, I don't know. Maybe I don't know how to count. I rolled a two and Whoa, a three. Ro burn another one. <laughs> You're retired for the night. Nice job, Tink. Yes! Two, three, three. You just I made him burn two bennies. That's fantastic. You have an extra benny. There's five of us, but you have six bennies. I'm going one more time. <laughs> He's going to make this awesome strike awesome eventually. That's going to hit him, sure. Twelve plus... Eight. Yeah, it hits. Twenty. All right. So, uh, only because it's so awesome that I'm, I keep I, spending the bennies on it. It's called awesome. Yes. Well, it's awesome strike. It's going to be awesome. It has to be. If he succeeds, the target takes 1d6 plus 5 bludgeoning damage, is not 10 feet in the direction of my choice, and falls prone. Mm. Well, I'm okay with that. So roll, roll damage. How much am I taking? Seven. Uh, okay, so I'm out of stamina. And I'm down to 18 hit points. Over? And I knock you 10 feet of my choice. So oh, I'm gonna. Can I choose? Can I choose? Because I think I want to go over <laughs> the Yusoki. <laughs> I, I did consider bowling, bowling for Yusoki, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you there out of the way. You can put a prone icon. So I can. Don't forget. I can, and I have to remember how to do that. Right click, and then it is the bottom right circle, not the gear circle. That's right. And prone will be... I don't even know what one prone would be. I'm going to put you in the net. That sounds good. Which you can't really see. And he comes through the door. He steps forward? Yes. 
Hmm. All right, he is done. Ghost, you are up. Uh, ghost takes a guarded step, five foot step backwards. At the very, the very bottom. bottom. You rolled a one. No, you rolled a one. No, he rolled a one. I have rolled a one, two twos, and two threes tonight. <laughs> A- after after he rolled that for you, I told him that he was retired. I, t- I stole your character sheet. And Thank he, you. Uh, I rolled back to back twice. Makes as if uh, his gun is not there, and then whips it out very quickly in a trick attack. Oh, I got to click on. It. I never thought I would think. Uh, did you move for first? Taking dice rolling he ability did. from my character. You can't trick attack after you've moved. Oh, you're right. Then I'll just blast them with azimuth. Full attack. No. Trick attack. No. And he does 12 uh, energy AC. His EAC? 12. He's a 12, but you also get plus one for get him, so oh, he's clearly a hit. Thank you. Woohoo! Can you check my range to the, the other guy, please? Your range to him? Yeah. Either Or his range to me. I'm okay either way. 10. Okay. I moved you 10. He moved... Ten. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, damage, Bob, is... Uh, I rolled <coughs> max damage four points of fire damage. I feel like since I'm prone, I can't... It's not a critical hit. So it's not it's not fire. But it's still well, four the, damage. The damage off. type is fire. Okay. It doesn't matter But it's to not him. on fire. Correct, it does not matter to him. Mm. Uh, that's it for him. Oh, wait. Wait. This thing, I have to find a better way to keep this in front of me. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, next up. You know you can expand this to be bigger so you can fit the whole thing? Don't, don't patronize it. Don't tell them what to do. No, to the right. There you go. Next up is Ozzy. Ozzy stands up, breaks out his tack lash, and... Uh... And throws it at him. Uh, he, he fumbles and drops his phone with his tech lash. Uh, you want to try it again? What is he doing exactly? I, I you, you, you ever see the adventures of Fort Fairly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> and does a uh, an attack against the... Uh, didn't quite have the, okay. that second time didn't quite have what the first time had. No, it didn't. <laughs> Was a four, but you know what? He is now in a threatened square of mine. Everybody gets a plus one to hit. So now it's a plus, plus two, two to hit that guy. And uh, by the way, nobody. I, I'm also not in line of sight of anybody else but him. <laughs> that's a great point. So great I was, point. Ah, that's why it was wrong. That got. Oh man, all these dice are messed up. Who messed up my dice? Besides me, you. Oh yeah, <laughs> the guy who threw the phone on the dead <laughs> table and had to shatter everything. Alicia, you're up. Where am I? And that's the guy we want to go bye bye. Yes. yes. And there's a bunch of people behind him as well. Oh. He's, he's a big bad. He's hard to hit. I mean, he's we easy plus to, hit, two to hit, but he's really. Uh, you can use your you, the azimuth pistol you picked up, your magic missile, or you can do something else. Let's just use my azimuth pistol. I'll be next pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think that is actually the best sound effect. The azimuth <laughs> pistol. All right. Because well, it really conveys the damage. Roll your d20. <laughs> this is so true. Three. Uh, plus it two. Must be genetic. Plus two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it gets a five. That two turns into a five. Twelve is what we needed. Well, I mean, what else do you have? It, that that's a natural three. <laughs> can you can you come with plus ten? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's out of stamina. He's gonna need some help. All right, back to the top of your order. Nala. Nala says. Nala. No. Get him! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> do you have to do that every round? It's his. It, it takes the place of his move action. But um, what I'm yes. saying is, yeah, it, 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 you have to do it every round. It doesn't stay on there. Correct. Uzi, get up! <laughs> Go after him! I, I have already stood up. What do you mean? Uh, I feel suddenly refreshed, though. Yes, and you get. Her slinky costume does something for you. Well, it gets something going. You get eight. Stamina points. Eight stand back, huh? That's good. That's that's good deal. Yeah, what's that you back to? Death brings my stamina to eight. Oh jeez. <laughs> what's your max stamina? Like sixteen or something? Yeah, sixteen. Okay, you're at half stamina. Half stamina and I'm down two hit points. Oof. Joel? Joel, where are you? <laughs> I'm trained as a doctor. I can I'm I'm trained in medical stuff. I can Is there anything you don't do? Seriously. 
Operative stands for OP for overpowered. <laughs> totally. I had yeah. skills. I just got lots of skills. And all the damage. <laughs> oh, 1d4, man. For now. All right, 22's up. Trigger. Trigger. Um, I guess he's just going to attack again. You have a range of uh, 10 to get him. Well, I, this has got a range of 80, so... I think you're going to be okay on that. <coughs> That's a nice throw. What have we done to him? Four points so far? No. Any more? I did, I did Seven. three so far. Seven. Seven. Oh, that's right. Trigger hit him the first time. You get a plus two, Mikey. Plus two? Mm-hmm. Plus two. Plus two. Two for flinching. Full attack. What's that? I'm going to do double attack because you can't. Plus two. Do you want to do that or do you want to do your trick attack? You roll the 20. That is a hit. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> two criticals. Would be nice. One point of damage. Woo. One point that of damage? Stings. That's one point of fire damage, though. <laughs> Just want to point that out. Really? Thanks, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Radiant damage. <laughs> All right, Ferrani is up. She, uh, oh, what is her range on it? What is her semi auto pistol range? What does she have uh, line of sight to? Oh, she moved. She's always been behind the desk. Oh, we can no longer see the person on the right? The person. The person who was here moved to the desk next to her to continue to get more cover. Gotcha, Ferrani's gotcha, got gotcha. the bull haircut. Yes, got the purple hair. Ferrani will, will level a blow at the straight ahead at Nala. Nala has a soft cover, courtesy of the vest in the doorway. She's got a m- minus two. Uh, six plus Pretty six sure is twelve. Minus two is ten yeah. against your. Um, I guess KAC because this is an, an automatic semi-auto pistol. Phew. All right. Um, she is going to... But every attack against me hit. Just saying. <laughs> but you got him to burn three freaking bennies. That's true. You know, I just wanted to use the whole power. <laughs> you understand okay that. that. I'm totally okay with that. All right. She is, she's done. The, uh, the, the regular gang member also targets Nala. And rolls a nine. Uh, nine. What is it? Now is KAC? Uh, no, not KAC. Yeah, K. Uh, no, he's EAC. 14, EAC. EAC is thirteen. <clears throat> you have a fourteen dex. He has a nine plus six is fifteen. What's your AC? EAC is thirteen. That's a hit. Oh. With no cover. Wait, minus two I, on cover. The cover. Well, no, I got fifteen. Oh, okay. And you have two cover. So you're done. Is 13. he shooting between his legs around him? How's he getting? I just want to know, just for future reference, which way, which way. That's how the rules say he works. I just want to know which way I should. Uh, Over his shoulder. Okay. This way you should. Over his shoulder, he's like seven feet. Three. <laughs> Three damage to your stamina. Your KAC is 13 or 14? You did take damage, to jo- Jules. I think I wrote on your sheet. It's not, you just lost yeah. one point of stamina. Okay. Um, the Vesk is up. Now, what, what's, what, what did you put on him? Nothing. I attacked him Big with my. Cancel. I attacked him with my. With my. This is taking Already? too long. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if he moves, you can you attack him, right? No, if he shoots. If he shoots, he's in... Uh, if he moves, threat. I can attack him. He's in the th- out square that I threaten. So I can take a guarded step back. Yes. Yeah. How I believe... Hang on. Can I... No. I cannot t- attack him with a guarded step that I know of. All right. He takes a guarded step stand back. Still? You don't have to like, stand still or something? I, he has to provoke an opportunity to attack first. Okay. Mm. No. He takes a guard to step forward and takes a big swipe at uh, Ghost. <laughs> With his awesome blow. 15. That's going to hit. I think so. My uh, KAC is... Oh, 16. 15 plus. Yes, that will hit. 8. 15 plus 8 is 23. Just that's, that's just That's going to hit. Yeah. 10 damage, 10 bludgeoning. Ooh. 14 uh, stamina goes down to 4 stamina. And he blasts you 10 feet back. You know, he's really doing us a favor by knocking us away from the door so we don't get shot at. <laughs> you still have to get through the door at some point, though. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. But the awesome blow is too awesome for me not to continue to use it. <laughs> By the way, he, I no longer threaten any, uh, that square, uh, the, the square, square he was in. in. Mm. So that plus one bonus for me does not happen again until my right, turn. You, you got up, right? 
Yeah. So you I are no longer prone. prone, so I can remove that condition from you. Yeah. All right. Um, ghost is up. Where are you pushing Ghost? Ghost is here, back to, oh, and he's prone. Here. Okay. So, uh... I know, you, you can stand up for no action. Yasoki are Sorry, little scrabblers. Yeah. They can stand up, and they cost a swift action, <laughs> not a move action. So he's back up and in the fight. Rolls to his feet. And, uh... He... <laughs> reaches down to his uh, wrist, and he taps a couple of buttons, and <laughs> suddenly the air around him seems to shimmer. <laughs> and... Three holographic images of a uh, ghost suddenly appear, duplicating his movements, just like a mirror image spell. He's activated a holographic displacement, which was his second level exploit. Nice. That is a standard action. He can still move. And so yeah, he will move himself that was uh, around this side of the door here. I believe you How do you get there? Without, do I get a pack of top opportunity for you? Because you got to go by me somehow. Is he to get that many oh, squares. Uh, he can move 30. So one, two. I can't see you moving. Three. Uh, I'll put him here. There, and then he's out of range. Unless that guy's got a double, a two range. Does he have a single range? So you move from... Does he have a reach weapon? From here, no. Josh? You move from here to here? Correct. Yeah, you can move like twice that far. Oh, okay. then maybe I'll move him to the door. Uh, to the wall, rather. Yeah, you can you can make the loop. Okay. You, you can curl around him. Uh, no, his hammer is not a reach weapon. I'll take him right there. That's the end of his turn. Yeah, that lasts for one minute, which would be six rounds. Six rounds. Ozzy's up. <clears throat> uh, Ozzy's gonna get over here, you wuss. <laughs> no, no, no. Come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ozzy's gonna shift. Uh, I can't see my character, but that's okay. Sorry. He's gonna yeah. shift up and left one. He's not gonna shift. He's just gonna move because he can. Because he can. And uh, sure. he's going to, once again... There, Bob? Yeah. There, yep. Adam? Yep. 18. I think that's going to hit. <laughs> plus... Plus one. <laughs> Get him. Plus one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Plus, like, lots. His, his yeah, EAC plus is 12. Plus six, 18 plus seven. I know what it is. Yeah, Good. I'm sure I hit. Jules, what is it? 18 plus 7. 25. Thank you. Thank you, Jules. <laughs> Thank you for not being one. like your father. 26. Uh, damage is going to be 8. Sorry, I should have looked this up ahead of time. 8. Wow. Oh, I should have done something cooler. I could have tried to... Dis I should have disarmed him. I'll have to do that next oh, time. Oh, that'd be nice with his awesome attack. That's okay. And then I could have gotten myself a freaking hammer. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, I did eight damage. I'll try to. I'll look up the. Uh, That's not an archaic hammer, right? Disarm. That's like a high tech hammer. I'm pretty sure. It's it's just a, an assault hammer. That sounds. But, if it has the word assault, that yeah, sounds it sounds not archaic. Yeah. Yeah. His picture doesn't have it though. Would you like to see his picture? Ooh, there's a picture of him. He's got like a like an assault a laser rifle. Oh. Yeah, he dropped the cannon when he saw you because. <laughs> nice. Hey, I might these pictures show up in the, in the in the in the in the bottom there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's Mikey. Uh. All right, you went. Ghost went. Ozzy went. Alicia. So no, yeah. Uh, he, gonna... he's hurt pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not good at doing the hurt stuff. That's she's, <sighs> she's not good at that. Which yeah, kind of sucks. You have three ability to cast magic missile, right? Just saying. You also have two more bonus inside the, inside the uh, the door. Yeah, I don't want to waste my magic missile. Really. Okay. If he's almost dead, I'm not gonna. It's perfect. But, it's but it's guaranteed. Yeah, don't kill him. Yeah. Let, let him have another turn where you get the tackles. That'd be good, mm -hmm. maybe. I, 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 I was gonna daze him. That way he's he doesn't go anywhere and he's not dead, so we can still talk to him later. We which you guys did an excellent job of not doing before. <laughs> we can talk to the to the leader. Yeah, we're really not he's the muscle. Dead. He is the she, muscle. She. Oh, she is the muscle. The Vesk is, is female as well? No, oh. that's not the leader. I know. The, ves, the, the Vesk Varani is the... In the back yeah, is the, the Vesk is the bodyguard. Mm -hmm. Come on, kick in here. Oh, it's Henry. <laughs> Lazy puppy. So. Um, all right, so Eilisi, what are you doing? Are you dazing him? Yeah. All right, are you going to move? Where am I? Am I over here? Is that me? Yes, yeah, that's you. Yeah, over that weird 10-foot artifact that doesn't seem to disappear. 
Oh, I'm good. All right, he is uh, dazed, whatever. Oh, that is. just automatically happens? Yep. Yeah, as a racial ability, he and she and uh, it's Nala not like a save it. versus will or anything. It just there's a little like we, we can't do it to characters with uh, CR three or R and CR three. Oh, so you might as well use it while you can. Yeah, it's gonna be great for the next five sessions. <laughs> what yeah. does Dave do again? I conveniently have that right here. I meant to put the cards out, but I forgot. So Dave is. Um, you are unable to act normally. You can take no actions, but have no penalty to your AC. So he's pretty much just standing there and not getting hit. So he can't take his turn. Correct. And that lasts until next uh, One turn. It lasts one turn. turn. Got it. It sucks that there's no save for that. That's ridiculous <laughs> that there's no save for that. That's very powerful. Bob will be using that every turn. <laughs> well, it's it's kind of like your trading turns, though. Uh, yeah, if he, does that true. mean that like for the whole rotation and then next time when it gets to my turn he wakes up not like next time he has a turn correct that's like he misses a turn yeah okay. he misses his next turn and then like like Ghost and Ozzy still have the opportunity to attack dazed yep yeah. okay that's true that's what I which helps them not at all but they could you know for example move out of a threatened square without provoking an opportunity attack while he's dazed I can't they, retreat either yep I can't fire at him point blank, and he can't get a free attack on me with a gun. That's yeah, true. That's yeah. good. So, all right, nice work. It's really nice and boring. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that's your role. That is my role always. His role is get him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, right. right. No. Oh, was he eating cheese? No. He was eating no. all of it. <laughs> And right, Nala. Uh, he didn't get too far into it. <laughs> moves up behind Ghost. Yeah. Like uh, here. Yeah, that was the other one. I think the other one. Oh, sorry. You're red. Yeah. There. There. And uh, I say, get up, get up, little one. You can do it. And you gave back a stamina. Nice. I'm. No, oh, me. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> You are, you are talking to me? I feel... I feel so good. I feel so very good. I do you have to be adjacent? Do you have to be adjacent for that? No. Then why'd you move? Because now you can't use get him. Because I didn't want to be standing in the doorway and get shot again. <laughs> That's One. reasonable. Womp. Shouldn't you get some sort of plus because he's dazed? Nope. That's really huge. Thank you. All right, uh, trigger is up. Trigger. Trigger. I do, Mikey. I know. So, oh, just okay. <laughs> going. so, so he's down and he's over there, right? He's dazed. He's dazed. He's not down. He's dazed. He's still alive. And right now you're getting a plus one to nope. hit him. I don't think he gets a plus anything. No. He gets a plus one from me. From, from you still? Me. Okay. From him. So you do have a plus one to hit him. Did you eat the okay. almond there? No, it's <laughs> in, in the wrapper. <laughs> his almond class is a, like 11 for us <laughs> right now. The equivalent. It's 12, sorry. With your plus one, that would make it equal to 11. Yes, ESU, ESU would be the equivalent of 11. If you're shooting him. Uh, you only rolled an eight. So <coughs> eight. Plus one is a nine. Uh, Wait, you rolled an eight? He rolled an eight. He actually with rolled your a, bonuses. He rolled, he rolled a four. four. With my, my bonus. bonus. Wow. wow, Mikey, are you okay? It, it's it's this electronic rolling thing. Yeah. I, I have a, a friend who plays in a group on roll twenty. They had five consecutive failed perception checks. Every player failed. Nobody rolled better than one. <laughs> better than one. Five ones in a row. Wow. <laughs> uh, rolling dice or using one of these computers? They were using roll 20. Inconceivable. That's like yeah, a one see, in 16,000. I, I, I don't uh, think it's as random as you think. He's, no, it's not. He sent, he sent me the, the screenshot of it. <laughs> but, it's just, but it's just as random as one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's amazing. Actually, that's the combination of my the, luggage. That yeah. is the... Uh, yeah, not too often. All right. Point uh, zero 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 three one two five chance of that happening. That's crazy. All right, trigger missed. Is that one in sixteen hundred or one in sixteen thousand? Uh, Ferrani. So the question is, 
Uh, can she target Alisi? Mm. Or does she have cover? Um, with cover. With cover? I think yeah. there's cover there. Yeah. If you certainly if, cover there. If you can see them at all, you can target them. All right, so I at least see with cover. I think that's pretty significant. I, I'm going to call that plus four. Works not plus me. two. So my 11 is not going to be adequate. Mm-hmm. The, the, it's the You're door. Sure. Ding, ding. 11 minus four. Plus? Uh, plus six. So it's 13. So it's, no, it's 11 minus, yeah, it's, it's 13 against your uh, KAC. 11. That is a hit. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. It's okay. I rolled a one plus one, two damage. Mm. Two damage to your stamina. Now it's personal. <laughs> Thank you. Your magic missile won't miss, by the way. What's the real life <laughs> example of one hit point of damage? Is that a paper cut? It's worse than a paper cut, right? I feel like in this game, yeah. it's going to be more like a sprained ankle. <laughs> I feel like it's like a punch to the face. That's a good one point. For stamina, yeah, for, yeah. for for as a stamina roll. Oh yes, stamina. It's <laughs> yes. And a critical would be broken nose. Henry. Yes. I'm not dropping any more. All right. Uh, so she goes. Uh, the thug will also target. Uh, at least see. That's a two. Mm-hmm. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a miss. Clearly. The Vesk is unable to do anything. He's dazed. He's dazed. He's dazed. What's the, what does he sound like when he's dazed? Mm, that's about right. Doesn't sound much different. No, he sounds like he, he sounds like this. <laughs> 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 that was good. <laughs> it sounded just like out of the cartoons. <laughs> ghost is up. Oh, ghost is up. Uh, I think it's time for a trick shot. Uh, looks like I got to click on. I'm gonna finish off ghost. Uh, oh, you rolled well. So if the he rolled a 16 mm-hmm. nat. No, so if the like CR of the enemy is 11 so or less, it's a successful it's trick shot. It's a CR 1. Okay. So uh. now we roll the attack. It's not a full attack. It is a trick attack. Ooh. And I rolled a natural 20. A oh. Crit. So you obliterated this, this guy. Against? This is against the big guy with the hammer. Noise. His body's going to be on fire. <laughs> Does so, that mean he's undazed? <laughs> uh, the, so you roll 2d4. Uh, a one is the trick damage, and one is the natural damage, I guess. And then you get another D four for the azimuth critical hit. But then where does the where does the crit okay the crit gives you two D you, you roll two D four you roll double weapon damage double weapon damage I haven't done that yet because that's just the oh, trick no. attack. See, you can see the rolls one D four plus one D four. I think you're at four D four. You get forty four. Forty four. You get one D four for the for the hit. Yep. Then you get a second D four for the crit. Yep. As part of a critical hit. Yep. The Azimuth Pistol yep. special feature gives you another D4. Yep. And then your trick shot gives you... The extra D4. A fourth D4. And the trick shot does not get doubled. That Correct. sneak attack doesn't get doubled. Okay. I agree with you. Four D4. All right. Uh, so except one of those, the fire D4, we'll put separate because that stays on him, right? Yes. So we'll do the fire <clears throat> D4 first. It's probably not going to matter. Yeah. It's four. So he's burning for four. I'm also kind of wondering if you get a second D4 with the azimuth, or the burning damage replaces it. I think I don't know. I think I've, they've played. They've played it on critical hit, critical. Whatever cos, cosmic crit is it? It's two D4 plus the crit. And then the uh, ten mm. for the other three D4. So it would be fourteen total. Oh, but does crit damage happen right away or start of his turn? That burning damage happens at the start of his turn. So he I only believe. takes ten right now, and he's got four coming up at the start of his turn. You know. I'm really cranky. If she hadn't dazed him, <clears throat> he would go down and the other grenade on his pouch would go off. Oh. But he's dazed. Ha! So That's he goes cool. down. And can I take this moment to see what has he got on him? What <clears throat> obvious weapons does he have? A grenade. Him? That would be your whole turn. <laughs> to, to look at him? You, you can see, he, well, he dropped the cannon okay. that he was carrying. He has his hammer. Okay. <clears throat> And, and nothing else is visible. Everything else is in pocket size. He know. has, uh, yeah, you, you, he, he might have a grenade laying underneath him. You can't see it. Okay. The bitch he does. That's it for Ghost. Alrighty. Ozzy. That was exciting. I thought that was pretty <clears throat> good. Uh, Ozzy uses his um, command and says, throw a grenade in there. I don't actually have command. I made it up. 
<laughs> Nobody but I'm not about to go. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, ghost. No, can't you? You can't. Never. Mm. How how far is it from Ozzy to? You know how far can I how far can I get if my movement is 30? 20. 20. Heavy yeah, you can get as far as there. What if he's going straight? That's kind of cheesing it, I think. Why is that cheesing it? Well, because you have to go one, two, three. I guess you could do that because you have to go one, two, three, four. I guess that works. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Ozzy's going to make that move. If you could get one square closer, they're all in your uh, threatened. Uh, and then I will drop prone. Oh, oh Okay. What does that do for you? I I it makes him harder to hit. Can't wait to close this door. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, oh, it's the scene from Walking Dead in the comics where the guy with the hammer goes into the gym after his daughter kills himself right at the beginning of the prison. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> All right, uh, Ozzy went in. <coughs> Alicia, you're up. So I don't know if you were here, Jules, when I said the girl with the blue hair here. That wreck that is Ferrani Nadas, who is the leader She's of the Dance Yes. So we're not gonna kill her. Oh, uh, we might kill her. No. You don't have you you can kill her and see what information she has a data pad to show. You know what? It's gonna there. be a lot easier to get information out of her mouth. Oh she would not get that if you're alive. We're still, not killing her. Jeez. Uh, <coughs> Sometimes in combat, soldiers die. We shall agree to disagree. She's not, no, she, she's not a soldier. She's someone that we need to talk to. <laughs> she's firing at us. She's made herself a soldier. <laughs> she's made herself an enemy. This is very awkward oh right now, guys. She is right there. You are talking to Zaza right. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you. Hi, <laughs> hey, Lisi. What are you doing? Okay, you know what? This conversation has happened telepathically because I can do that. So. Oh! <laughs> Wait, wait, so there's that weird echo? <laughs> that weird echo? That's when the other Lashunta is listening at the same time. Uh, uh, can you put your mute on, please? <laughs> you know, is it a broadcast right from from Ailishi to somebody, or is it a broadcast where, you, where Nala picks it up all the time? I think it's person to person, but I anyway. Think it's person to person. I think it's person to person. I agree. Yes. If you choose that. Ailishi, you're up. Imagine, Fernani has no damage. Imagine all those uh, Lashunta in a soccer stadium watching a game. Imagine how distracting that would be if everybody was playing <laughs> So, so your magic missile would not kill him. If they were playing Quidditch? If that's what you want to do. Who's this guy? That's just a thug. thug. Oh, I'm okay. going to kill him. Okay. <laughs> use, your, use your kill him. <laughs> I think we were over 15 <laughs> seconds. I want to use my magic missile. There you go. Do you have line of sight? Yeah. I'll give line of sight on I'm that. I'm over here. We're at an angle. I can see him. Yeah. I, I'll, give, I'll, I'll call that line of sight. It's right through the door. Is the desk providing any soft cover? For magic missile doesn't matter. Oh right, right. Yeah, we'll <coughs> <coughs> automatic hit. Now, do you get two or three? Um, I don't remember how the rules work. I'm Maybe you should have written it down somewhere. I I was thinking about that as soon as we started playing. Well, because well, you also have a magic hack or something like that. Uh yes, I do have a magic hack, hmm. but that's selective targeting. That's not something that. Uh, it looks like three. Oh. Sometimes it's target up to three creatures, but you fire mm. two missiles of magical magic energy. Yes. I don't understand how that works. I don't either. Uh, oh, because if, if there's... You have to have two of which... Two of them have to be less than 15 feet apart. Because then you can hit the two of them with one missile. Oh, you can do the spell as a full action. So you don't move. If you do, you fire three missiles instead of two. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe you want to do that. I'm going to do that. All right, so you... 3d4 plus 3? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. I didn't make a noise for this one. Pew, 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 pew. There's fourth, but the last one was a, a, a dud. <laughs> Three. Three. That's a good roll. Three. Six. Very good. One. Seven plus three. Ten. Mm. Ten. Damage. He's hurt. He's, he's, it's forced damage. It knocks him off his feet right into the back wall. He's completely discombobulated. Discombobulated, but not dazed. Correct. Yeah. It's like days, <clears throat> yes. but not. Back to the top of your with Nala. That was not bad, at least. <clears throat> Can you do me a favor? Yes. On the printer are the status cards for all the stats. Can you grab it quick? Okay. Thank you. I think we're going to um, rush in. You're Russian? No, you're French. <laughs> <laughs> I should rush in. Are you sure neither of those exist? One, two, three, 
Four puts you here. You move six. Five. Where would you like to go for to your left. fifth? Very good. That's fine. You're still a target, but... Uh, I think that that's going to... All right, I will shoot at... The mask is prone. The chief. Yeah. You going to shoot at Ferrani? Yes. 14. <clears throat> uh, 14 is a hit. Uh, uh, she has covered behind the desk, but her EAC is only 11, so it is still it. One day. Babies, babies in the kitchen. There are rules for being dead in there. Mm. <laughs> There's rules for nauseated and sickened. There's all kinds of them in here if anyone wants to see them. Jeff, you want water? Please, use up your whole toner. There's a blood new one. Yeah, we did. The black background. Is it navy blue? Mm -hmm. Be All right, trigger. What are you doing, trigger? He's pulling the trigger. I am. I'm going to move. Uh, can you move me in the door and one square to the left? That's three. Okay. Where else do you want to go? That's it. You gonna plug up the door for other people? Oh, we I can, we one can to the left because I can't move one to the left. You can move one to the right though. Uh, one, one to the, the right's fine. Cha cha cha. That's very military. Look at that. Hmm. And then I'm going to shoot. Which one? Uh, we want to, we want to keep the chick alive, right? Yes. Oh, only Jules wants to keep the chick alive. Oh, that's, oh, that's the, the leader. leader. We don't want to keep the leader. Then we can become the leader. <laughs> <laughs> no! Trial by we combat. Can make such a good living right here. Take We're going to shoot the gang. We have to talk to her first, and then we can talk about taking over the gang. I like All right, how about we, we will, just move You move. will not. Ferrari has one point of damage. She's she's laughing at you. Um, I, I will tell you that based on what is going on, getting her to speak in any manner is going to be extraordinarily difficult. But oh there will be records. Yeah, well, Naala is very diplomatic. There are, there are records for everything in here. I will give you that too. Hey, Josh? Yes, yeah, sir. How many, How many feet am I from them? Each box is a, is a foot, is, is a five. Yeah, but the so way 25 it is. and 25. All right, so can, can I change, change my move, move and move up one more square? square? You can move to there if you'd like. Perfect. I'm, I'm going to throw, throw a grenade. grenade. You have a grenade? I do. All right, so... This is interesting because we haven't thrown a grenade yet. Yeah, this what's is the range grenade? on your grenade, Mike? <laughs> Good. No, but like, what's the blast radius? I should have said. Uh, what kind of grenade is it? It is a frag. Because <laughs> well, they're behind cover too. So if it comes up short, they're going to get plus two to their save, and you guys are going to get hit. <laughs> We're over the cover. So it's got a area, area of effect 15. of fifteen. Yes. Yeah, that's going to hit me. <laughs> ah. No, if he throws it right and lands, if, yeah, if he lands on them, it's gonna hit you. <clears throat> but that's his choice. Don't roll a one. Actually, in theory, he could throw it. I'm just gonna play play cat and mouse here. If he threw it here, oh, I think that still hits you. Fifteen. Uh, but wait, wait, go go another. If you go there, and then to here. No, he's, he's it's still 15. One guy's prone, and there's a desk between the two of them. <clears throat> that's a chair. There's a, the, this is a desk. That's a table turned over. Which gives me plus two to my save. I, I rolled an 18. Does it matter? matter? You don't even know what you're rolling. He's throwing. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to use it, you've got to know how it he's works. He's throwing. Oh, and I believe you actually target the corner. <laughs> it uses deck, right, instead of strength. Throwing. Yeah. So if he has not to roll plus his dex bonus. What? Are you going crazy now? Since when do you bark? Okay, okay so I, 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 I didn't, didn't realize it included my dex. If it includes my dex bonus, then it's a 21. I'm trying to figure out how to make a, a hollow grenade works because I didn't. I've read it twice and I don't remember. Oh, sorry. 
Okay. You said it was all about grenades, so I bought grenades. <laughs> when did you buy grenades? As part of my original character. character. Okay. All right, so I got something for grenades on 183. Grenades are thrown weapons that detonate in an explosive radius when they reach the target. A grenades listing on table 7-7. Seven, seven. Grenades shows its explosion radius. Some grenades have additional effects. Uh, save reflex against the grenade for half. DC is 10 plus half the grenade's item plus your dex modifier. Wow. That makes your grenades harder to, do to dodge. Hmm. Ah, okay. Missing with a thrown weapon. It doesn't matter. I think he's going to just pull a cuppies. You're going to get for the damage well, of two. When you, th when you, when you throw... Oh, you oh, threw right. It's a no-brainer, no? Hmm? Oh, Bob, why do you say. have over 11,000 on ready emails? Because he doesn't read. I don't read spam. You get a lot of spam when I was one of the first people to get Gmail back in the day, back in two thousand and four. Bob, Bob, like Bob and I had to get invited to have Gmail. Yeah, we had to know somebody who got it and then get invited. So over two thousand and four, we all got Gmail, Gmail when it was a, a pilot program. program. Hmm. Oh, you target a specific grid intersection rather than a specific creature. So you're so actually targeting course. a corner, Mike. Yes. The intersection between those two characters. characters. Yeah, can, can you move it further away from me? <laughs> Actually, if he targets the back corner, then I think you're safe. 5, 10, 15. It would blow up right in front of if, my face. If he targets this face. corner, yeah. Yeah. This so, corner here. Mm, he can, no, this corner right here. Then I'm putting my, 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 my arrows right on. The one between them and the back. Isn't this the, isn't this it, the corner here? No. No, the corner, not the square. The corner. Between the the, the corner door. between the two of them. So he can... Oh, come on, stupid. So he can target right here. Upper top. Yes, right where you just were, Bob. Right there where the, where the pink line is. If I make circle. So that would, that would in theory, make... Leave, leave Ozzy safe. Ah, uh, 17 feet. So, mm -hmm. all right, he rolled an 18, which is certainly going to be a hit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So roll your damage, which is a d6. <coughs> piercing. D6 piercing. They each get a save of dc10, dc11. And what's your dex mod, Mike? Three. So D they have a dc of 14 for half damage. Ferrani fails. The thug succeeds. Well, because he rolled a one damage... Oh, they each half, take one. Half damage is equal to one. <laughs> oh. Mikey, like, what's going on, man? I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, that's, that's why I don't like these. Like, I'm no. telling you, they, they are rigged. rigged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when you get to level four, it becomes 2d6. And by the time you're level 14, they're 10d6. So it just starts off weak. Yeah. That means you, you can roll 10 ones, ones and roll 20. 20. <laughs> <laughs> But do it to, like, <coughs> 15 space goblins or space bugbears or whatever. All right. So, Ferrani. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. We, we just used our first grenade, and, and there was no fanfare. fanfare. I don't have a... I don't, make the noise of... Make the sound effect. <laughs> Nobody's giving me sound effects except for a couple guys, so make your sound effect. I used your sound effect. You did? And I've used it extensively today. Because it's a good No, sound he's got to make the sound effect. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> awesome grenade. All right. You know what? It only gave one damage, so it is kind of a pew 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 grenade. <laughs> that was exactly the point. <laughs> Fry ducks around the, the side of the desk, squeezes off a round at uh, Nala in the corner. Hey, I'm not in the room. Uh, 15 plus 6 is 21. I think that's going to be a hit. For 5 stamina damage or more if it goes to your rolls over hit points. Mm. <laughs> the downside king thug looks around the other corner, targets trigger. Ooh, uh, 17 plus 6 is 23. Ooh. I'm assuming that's going to be a hit, Mikey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For four, five, five. Ooh. It's a stamina. Used to Yosokis, aren't that All right, I still, still have temporary hit points, points so I haven't even touched my hit points. You're using your stamina hit points? 
Uh, uh, I have six, six temporary, temporary points. points. So, so now no, no, no. What stamina points? Temporary points okay. are different. When he no, did, temporary points get used before you use stamina points. Where case. did you get temporary points? Uh, I have temporary hit points from my mechanic trick at level two. Okay. Oh. Energy shield. Temporary hit points equal to your int modifier plus your mechanic level. Nice. There you go. That is awesome. How many total temporary hit points? Six. 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 Nice. Wow. So he has right. none. That is really cool. No, no he has one yes. left. He has one left. Well, I have one left of that before <coughs> I start taking real damage. What does that look like? That nice. uh, it's kind of like a force field that you kind of see around me. So you, when you see the energy hit it, it ripples. It was and then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear Mike that when is, you're doing that. <laughs> you on that one that's allowed to comment on sneeze. That is very cool, <laughs> Mikey. That right. is very cool. And Ghost, you're up. Uh, so how much does it take to run into this room? Ten to there, and then... Move well, your ten to there, and then make, make your next move. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's ten. And then I can get right there, huh? Yep. I want to get next to them. Uh, I'm going to use Jet Dash and just get right in front of them. On top of the desk, gun pointed at them. Oh. And uh, I just picture him. Uh. He's going <laughs> to try to intimidate them. You know we are going to kill you unless you put down your weapons right now. What's your intimidate roll? We're not set on the killing thing. I gotta find it. Or bluff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take bluff on that one. Oh, maybe bluff? No, he'll, he will kill them. It's an intimidate. That's I, it. That's, that that's like a, he's telling the truth, though. He will kill them. That, is, that, that doesn't sound like anything he would say. Hmm? That doesn't sound like anything he would say. Unless he's just gonna kill them anyway. He might not kill them. He's not as uh, bloodthirsty as you think. You don't it's know not what he said. I was going to say, aren't <laughs> the one, isn't he the one who's always trying to kill everybody? 15 isn't going to do it anyway. Okay. Although, he her intimidate check does decrease because you killed the Vesk. Oh. That's it. That's his turn. All right, who's next? Ozzy. Ozzy is prone. Mm. <laughs> Get up and whip him. I can't. Why? Because it takes a move action to stand up, and then I not I'm out of range to hit them. So what I if could, you like stretched your arm and then whipped? I think that's already taken into account. <laughs> Ozzy will crawl forward to the square to the square space with the chair, continuing to stay prone because he's already taken tw- more than twice as much damage as everybody else in this fight. You have done your job well. <laughs> so one more spot, right? I need water. You only wanted to go one to where the chair is, right? Right yeah. there. I only want to go two. He's got two range. I can't. His yeah. Work, his when work. I stand up next time, I can hit them as if they have no cover. Oh, that's nice. Because we are equally... We are... You're already... You're, oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. I see those eyes fluttering. <laughs> because we are both the same distance from the cover, neither of us has cover from the cover. So I can just freaking whack them. Yeah, that's what you should do. You should just punch me. That's it for Ozzy, then Elise. My arms aren't that one, but I can whip them. Um... You're not, you're not saving her, Jules, so go for it. No, I'm going to azimuth laser crystal. We might crystal. save her. What are you talking about? The weekend guy? Yeah, I'm going to azimuth laser crystal the thug. Okay. I have to roll. Oh, just launch. Twelve. And then what are the, what are the things I add? <coughs> uh, dex. Whatever pistol you're Yeah, I was going to say, you've got it all calculated, right? No. But if you roll the twelve, Can then I think that... Her? That thing has a 12. He has a... I didn't auto-load like yours did. I don't you know. know there's all the boxes to add. to add stuff, though. He has a EAC of 10. Oh. So even with his cover, oh, okay. even with his cover, it's a hit. So roll your damage. And that's... 1d4. 1d4. There's a box for that, too, by the way. I rolled the wrong. You chose to roll four. Yes! <laughs> no. Now he has one left. Oh! <laughs> You had a 75% chance of killing him and failed. <laughs> Nala. Who did you aim at? The thug. The thug has one. Left. He has one. 
I kind of want to keep the thug around and kill the uh, leader. Why? Thug has no. Uh, card nothing. In this game nothing. Uh, yeah. Then why did we kill the Vesk? Because he hurt. Because he was ginormous and killing us. <laughs> Dude, what do you think he's gonna do? Give up? Yeah. Once his boss dies, he's going to give up in a second and tell us everything we want to know. I'm surprised know. he didn't give up at two hit points with that Intimidate roll, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought you were focusing on Ferrani. Both. I, I, think you have to, I, think it's, I don't think you can focus and target multiple people with it. I am going to shoot. Logically, I don't see why you couldn't. Game mechanics, I have no freaking clue. I will shoot at Ferrani. No. Ferrani. Oh, if you take Veronica? him out, maybe Ferrani will surrender. Just a thought. Hey, look. The little guy had a we'll semi-intelligent thought. Sorry. Okay. Natural 20. <gasps> Net is this Ferrani? Wow. Yeah. It's 2d4. Was, was it was a d4. Oh, it's 2d4. I don't know. I said uh-huh. it. I'm just going off what you said. Then, wait, 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 wait. That's an azimuth pistol, right? Yep. So you get 2d4 for your damage. Mm-hmm. And the black is fire damage. And then you'll do a 1d4 for fire on top of that. Black is fire. Oh, black is fire. Four fire. fire. Four fire. Nice. Six damage. Ooh. And then four fire when it comes to. Wow. <coughs> That's big. I think she, she's going to be very intimidated while she's on fire now. <laughs> just saying. See, I told you it would kill you. <laughs> Do you have any melee weapons? Yeah, I got a tactical baton. Hmm. It's still in my pouch. Where's your survival knife? Yeah, so I have a survival knife. Mm-hmm. It's a swift action to get that out, though, okay. right? All right. Okay. So, uh, Trigger, you're up. Okay. Uh, since I didn't move, I say, get her. Mm. Oh, nice. Important. It is plus one damage. Uh, I'm going to move uh, three squares on the on the angle, Josh. Can you move yourself, Mikey? No, I can't. Uh, now, the other way? Uh, no, that's good, but right there is fine. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot her. I'm gonna shoot at her. What are you doing now? <laughs> Close one. Uh, I'm gonna watch her and start shooting at you. Tell us not to shoot as well. Who is she again? Why is she with us? Do I still have the plus one from you or no? You have plus one from me. From Jeff. She has cover though. She has minus two. Is she still in your threat? No, because I'm prone. Okay. You're still prone? Is she a minus two? Uh- Half an hour. You have a minus two. You have a minus two, but then you have a plus one from get him from the from Jeff for a net 15. minus one. That looks fun. Fifteen is a hit. Is it just your net minus one EAC or KAC is a hit? <clears throat> See one again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm telling you. Mike, do you want me to roll? Do you want Josh to roll for you? Hey, no. That would have killed the thug. I would rather have you roll. Mm -hmm. All right, so on her turn, she takes the four or does she save first? She takes the four first, then she saves. Hmm. What is the save? Do we know? It's something plus the damage. It doesn't matter. (laughs) (laughs) My one is not going to make it matter. No. (laughs) Now, if she tries to shoot Ghost. Mm-hmm. Is there a is there a, 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 a opportunity attack? Yes. What does that no, a because range. you don't have a melee. We- you don't have a melee weapon ready. Can I use my no. butt of my gun? No. Because um, then it would be a, a weapon. Well, then I could use a swift action to pull up my tactical. I just thought I could fire at them. I didn't realize melee. You can't use only. ranged weapons in it for an opportunity okay. attack. I'll chalk it up to learning. And I can't do it because I'm prone. Then she's gonna shoot at you, Pretty even sure though it's basically. Point blank range, she's going to shoot at you and miss anyway, probably. Seven plus six is a 13 against your KAC. My KAC is 15, I think. Uh, 16. 16. The bullet, you you duck to the left, the bullet ricochets off the ceiling and bounces down. Mm. That was a mistake. The thug next to her pulls... Pull, turns, pulls the trigger, and blows her head out. What? <laughs> what do you want? I want to live. Drop the gun. He did. Uh, the ghost <laughs> will kick the weapon across the floor. 
Okay. So he can't get it. Tell me what you want. I will do Ghost it. Ghost will now long, no longer do any spell. <laughs> trigger! Trigger! Yes. I, I look yes. for a computer. Can, can I kill yeah. him? I'm going to enter whoa, whoa, the room. Whoa, 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 what was that, Ghost? Stand up. Can I, I kill up. him? I stand up. No, no, no. Y- yes, but not yet. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No! I'm helping. I'm no! helping. What we, what I can, help. Tell me what I can do to help. We're not Ghost killing goes, anybody yet. Ghost grunts. He goes back anybody into the else. other room and he starts looting the bodies in the other room. Ghost, go, 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 ghost. Hit him on the head and knock him out. No. I want to help you. No, stop. You two get away from him. Oh my god. You go talk okay, to him, no, I go no, talk no, to the bodies. No, no, go, go, yeah, you go talk the to the bodies. Whatever. Go steal all the, the crap. Fight. I don't care. <laughs> fight his ankle. Ah. <laughs> fight his ankle. Oh, that's pretty solid. Mm. Put him away from me, please. What is it? Chocolate? Dark sauce. Have some. Good chocolate. Oh, have, have some? some? Alright, Ghost leaves the room. Jeff, I have to break it off for you. He starts checking out the bodies, so. leaving you guys mm-hmm. to talk to them. Uh, I'm gonna check if you're leaving the room to check out the yeah. body. I'm gonna go check out her body. Nala, yeah. there you go. Do your talky thing. Yeah, we <laughs> do the talky thing. But like mostly you. Cause do we need to do I'm the talky thing? <clears throat> I could be diplomatic with her. She's dead. She's dead. Well, I mean, with the uh, with the talky. <laughs> if you were playing on your phone, you would have noticed that mm. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> He never said whether the thug was a male or female. I assumed it was a female. <laughs> I am sorry. Can you break the chocolate for me? <laughs> it's really hard. And it's not it's not a consistent shape, it's all curls. Oh, yeah. oh that's right. It looks all right. really weird. Let's recap. The vest was a giant pain in the butt in the doorway. He he doled out some serious okay. damage. What is Took quite a beating. It's a big piece. You killed him. You came in. You beat down Ferrani. You beat down the other thug till he had one hit point left. He turned tail. That's any good thug would do. Mm-hmm. Saw the writing in the wall. <clears throat> and covered it with her brains. Mm-hmm. Blew, off her, blew out her head. She only had a few hit points left. It wasn't going to matter. So this would be a little more I like drama. I like it. And uh, he's got his hands up. He's like, I will tell you. There's a key card on her to let you in that door. She's pointing at this, this corner room. Her, 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 her data pad's on the floor there. Whatever information you want is probably on there. What, why do you think we're here for information? Because one of you was talking about talking and interrogating her. Oh, that was me. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. They just want to talk to everybody. We want to kill everybody. Yeah, I, I like doing the talking thing. I go search your body. Do right. you have any other weapons thing. on you? It's a woman thing. They all want to talk to them. He drops a knife. What, what others? your pockets. He just dropped the knife. Adam, maybe Adam, Adam uh, Ozzy scared the knife off of him. <clears throat> what other spoils? Have we... more than that in yeah, his it. He has a cred stick with twelve credits on it. I now have a cred stick with twelve credits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What other spoils can we get from this battle? As that are in the area. Can you describe the room for us too? It's a. Uh, it's a room. Five Looks ten. Like Looks like a store. Four, five, six, seven. It's a uh, wow. It's forty-five by forty room. A small tw- uh, ten by ten closet that's locked in the in the back right-hand corner. Ozzy, go block the door to the dance hall. I just close the door. Oh, trust me, our friend isn't going anywhere. And Ozzy <laughs> just grabs his shoulder and squeezes. Mm-hmm. Ghost is in the other room. He's doing but not enough to do damage because I can't kill I him with my bare hands. About the other way. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh. Ozzy goes and you stands, see, stands guard. You see, Ghost is already there, closing the door. Hey, Ozzy down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And instead of like standing beside the door like a good tackler, he just stands right in front of the door like this. Mm-hmm. Mm. One foot on the. Uh, <laughs> hey, Flash, right what did she have? What did she have on her? I was checking her. All right, you you checked out her body. I will not make any inappropriate conversation because my daughter's here. Um, okay. All right, you want to write? You want to type this up, Bob, so mm-hmm. we have it. All what right. So Ferrani had a club. Yeah, this, that's where we're at. We know this. <laughs> a melee club and a tactical semi-auto pistol. Somebody now has a tactical semi-auto pistol. In his cheek uh-huh. pouch. Hmm. Um, an S Tech suit one. E S T E X. Suit one. Yeah. That was my size. A data pad. 
the the uh, thug said it had a key card, which is you found, which is maybe open that corner off, uh, spot, and a cred stick with five hundred credits, so a hundred credits each. Ooh. Well, or five hundred credits for uh, trigger. Mm. No, not trigger. As as we're we're, we're doing this, I'm going to say that ghost checks the the uh, vesk. Mm-hmm. Um, he is wearing a troop ceremonial plate. <clears throat> can you do heavy armor there, Ozzy? Oh, yes, I can. Excellent. And, it, and it's just my size, too. <laughs> uh, an azimuth artillery laser. Whoa. I already got one of those. Oh, with with two those. batteries. <clears throat> uh, he used up his shot grenade. So he has a frag grenade, and he has a cred stick with 200 credits. The thug just gave you his survival knife and his azimuth laser pistol and his 12 credits of on this credit state. Are you going to the closet? I, I ask you if it's booby trapped. No. I'll open it for you if you want. I just want to walk out of here. No. Walk. <laughs> Ozzy! Alright. Are there any credit sticks on the thugs? We took uh, pistols from them but the ones playing cards did they have any credit sticks on them? Uh, or <coughs> sticks in the pot. Mm. Okay. There's a total of 150 credits loose that were in the pot. Mm. So that's mm-hmm. 50 each. Right, so which one it was? That'd be 250. That's, <laughs> that's at 150. Yeah, that's 33. <laughs> and what is in that room that, where they were playing the game? It looks like another room with shelves and stuff. Right, yes, probably, like, it's a, it's a giant storeroom. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here, but it's it's not easy to move. You know, it, it has value, but for you to get it out, it's going to take time. Is there like, this is a nightclub, so alcohol. Um, yeah, there's booze. There's drugs. Sound equipment. Where, um, where is the cash held? Well, you haven't gone out back out into the front and see where the cash is held, or you haven't checked the, closet, the store closet. I was asking the guy. Oh. From like the next room. I don't know. <laughs> where is the cash? I don't know. I don't work here. All right, you open the. Then how uh, did you get into the, the store employees room? only yeah. section? All right, so inside. Well, Mikey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to play with the tablet thing she has because I have like computers and all that. Fancy. Okay, give me a computers check, quick. Okay, hold on. Well, oh, ceremonial plate troop armor. Yes. It's crap. <laughs> it's crap. <clears throat> Not as good as exoskin. Second skin. It's heavy armor. That doesn't help any of us. Helps me. Well, it would help me if it wasn't crap. <laughs> Nineteen. You start going through. You're looking at all kinds of stuff. You, you records of their illegal activities, and then you stumble on it. The gold mine you've been looking for. Is it actually? Cool? Several communications between astral extractions and the Downside Kings, ordering the gang to kill Dorval Creel. Uh, ooh. Both as a um, message Josh, and as I a. Hey, Josh. Yes. I immediately back that up to my exocortex. Okay. Oh, smart. Oh, which, by the way, is really cool. It's a device that I've implanted in myself because I'm a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a memory stick. So it's both as a message to the Hard Scrabble Collective that the corporation means business and a message to the Starfinder Society to stop them from getting too curious. Mm. So. This is on the data pad? Yes. That is not working very well for them. And now it is backed up to my memory module as well. Okay, we should destroy it. What do they do again? Uh, what are the emails saying? Oh, no, no, we're not destroying this tablet. It is proof. It is uh, a proof. It's, that it, there was emails between it. Astral Extractions and the Downside it. Kings ordering the, the death of Creel. Kiss? Which right. was your just goal. Kiss? Mm-hmm. Just, just kiss? Just kiss. Just kiss. The insect. <laughs> what else is in the uh, closet there? So inside the closet are a hollow skin. What is that? We guys will look that up in a minute. You guys can divvy up all this treasure in a minute once I give it to you, and I'll walk Henry quick. <laughs> An auto-target rifle with five magazines of long-arm rounds. Wow. Who's proficient in long arms here? Oh, nice. I, I, actually, my exocortex allows me to use heavy armor and long uh, arms at level three. So next time we level up, I can use all that. A vesk. I mean, uh, I don't know, Soki in heavy armor. <laughs> <laughs> it came off of a vest. No, no, no. It, just <laughs> it just allows me to use it. I don't say it was a smart idea. <laughs> Actually, Mikey, that ceremonial tr- troop plate will not be terrible for you because it allows a plus two dex, bo- uh, dex bonus up to two. 
Bob, there are 10 cartridges each, five okay, magazines what? for 50 total rounds. Okay, Adam, we'll have to talk about that. Then. Take it. I don't want it. Uh, what there's is it called? Sorry, we'll get back to that, Mikey. Yes. Okay. There's two incendiary grenades, level one. I have proficient in grenades, by the way. So am I. So we have three people, because the mechanic is two. I think Trigger is as well. Two Mark I serums of healing. Oh, that's useful. Health Lola. potions. We'll save those for when we really need them. <laughs> Never use them. Put them in the vault. A quick release sheath armor upgrade. Most of your armors have one upgrade uh, slot, so almost any of us could potentially use this. All right. Here we, here's the question of the day. 500 UPBs. Anybody? Universal. Oh, oh, ah! Universal? I knew this. Peanut butter sandwiches. No. Yes! <laughs> Universal pr pr production? Polymer? Polymer. Bits? Base, Base. I think. Pretty sure the bees. Do you base. feed this into a three D printer? Yeah, it's a it's a it's basically a a, a manufacturing tool. Oh. So you can make anything out of them. Yes, or you can sell it. So they become like a currency. <coughs> oh, yes. we can sell it for one tenth of its value. Uh, that might have a straight up value. That's, oh. that's better than one tenth. Yeah, I think I read that goods, fine goods, and UPVs trade at value, hmm. not a ten percent reduction. And then, um, reduction. half a dozen credit sticks holding a hundred credits each, so six hundred credits. So what's our total credit uh, score from this? Who's got a... Who's want to jot them down and I'll read off what I typed. You've got... Uh, well, Trigger's got 12, but I think Trigger's probably keeping those. Then you've got 500, 200, so that's 700. Then 150, that's 850. And then uh, 600... So 1450 total credits divided by five. The five of us. It's almost 300 credits each. Yeah. Well, 290. If, if Jules did it, it's almost 500 credits <laughs> each. <laughs> All right, so uh, a universal polymer base is the basis for most technology in the pack world and Vascarium. It is a tiny multifunction component, not much larger than a grain of rice, capable of being configured to act as a brace, capacitor, circuit, diode, fastener, insulator, etc. Um, oh, I can. Oh, oh. <coughs> you, you know, when, when, when we find those, Trigger gets extremely excited. Ah, because you can use them. You can use them to create a laser weapon to power to armor. It uses currency, but it doesn't actually give me a, dollar, uh, a credit value. <laughs> the value of the Pact World's credit is based on the economic utility of a single UPB. So it's like gold. Yeah. The, 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 uh, Not in this country. No. <laughs> but the, the money is, be, is set to it. All right. So you guys talk about the equipment quick. I'm going to walk Henry quick. Sounds good. And then we'll... Um, while you do that thing about what you want to do, ne do next, do you want to visit Chiskis? Do you want to talk to Level Twenty One Gang? What do you, do you want to do? Any of those things? Um, I'll be back. Burn this place to the ground. <laughs> Let or us do the most door. important thing first. Level Twenty One may want in on burning it to the ground. Let us discuss the loot. I think that is very important. What was the thing of that we got that Jules said? What is that? Okay, so hollow skin. Oh, skin. Oh, Hall yeah. skin. Go ahead, Henry. That sounds cool. So do we, let, let's talk to. Do, do we want to talk to the armor or the weapons first? I think we're doing the hollow skin first. <laughs> okay. Does anyone want to look that up? I have just looked it up. It's on page oh. two nineteen of the rule book. It's worth five hundred. It's bulk one L. Uh, it's runs on a battery, and it has a capacity of twenty. And every time you use it, it lasts for one tenth of a minute. So ten seconds, I guess. This holographic six seconds. Six seconds. Six seconds. Excuse me. So one round. One round. This holographic projector is generally I mean, I mean, mounted I mean, I mean, I mean, to a belt or an arm strap. It can be programmed <coughs> using the disguise skill to project a different appearance. When you use a hollow skin, you can disguise major features, of your race, or a creature type, without the DC of your disguise check increasing, except against perception checks that involve physical examination. So you can make yourself look like somebody else. I love that. But how's your disguise skill? Oh. That's a skill? <laughs> <laughs> I will take that. Of course you will. 
You won everything. How's your disguise? What? Uh, we're untrained. Untrained. Yeah. Oh, you can use it untrained at least. You can use disguise untrained. So you got that. Or we could just it. sell it. Well, Is we, it, can we, sell can we make it a, a particular person if we if we're if we have the disguise well, I mean, trained, right? Mm-hmm. To project, it just says to project a different appearance, so it can be any appearance you want. You could it be? But I'm thinking, could it be a specific person? Yeah. Yes. Versus just a the disguise. As I, long, I think you've had to have seen the person though. Uh, you, can see, you can see a video yeah, of training that I need for disguise. disguise. What's that, Mike? It's really good. Do we have anybody trained in disguise? I do. I'm, I'm trained and I'm eight. We Skill uh, team, modifier. Though. So, guys, just for the record, there is also a voice box version of that, so you can sound like anybody. Ooh. Ooh. I am I trained mean, at disguise. I'm also I mean, not for nothing. I mean, it okay, well, you're going to get a bunch of other crap. So, it's a for you. What's that, Mike? It makes you go to you. Is it a person who actually has disguise? The person who has disguise and like talks to people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, so it should go to uh, Nala. Write that down. Yeah. Nala, you gonna put that down on your uh, item list? Why would you do that? Mm. Hello. Okay, the next item we have up is the Estex suit number one. Estex suit is a thick, durable fabric most often used to make flight suits and environmental suits. Estex suits cover the wearer from the neck down and can be modified with armor upgrades as needed. Higher quality Aztec suits grant better levels of protection, allow for more upgrades, though they are often bulkier than comparable suits of light armor. So an Aztec... It's, it's crappy light armor. It's worse than your second skin that everybody already has. But it has... Uh, but the difference is that it does give you two upgrade slots instead of one. And has an armor check penalty of minus one. So that's a, that's a downside. So if you like armor upgrades... Well, mm-hmm. wait a minute. I mean, does it have a value? Can we sell it? Uh, 410. So we would get... 41. For it. Divided okay, by that's, five. That's eight. Let's get rid of it. We get or, to go shopping after this. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's does anybody not have armor? Credits, that's 41 more credits for something we none of us are going to want to use. And right. we can then spend on something we want to use. That's right, and we don't have to carry it very far. Agree. No, and, that's a little exactly. matter, but you know. The only question I do have is, does anybody not have armor right now? Okay, I, I think, think everybody has something. armor. Good, good. Okay, I want to say that was a very satisfying encounter. Is it from, from my what perspective? Was you just in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I meant it was. It was. Or you talking outside? There was give or take, and both sides were. Mm-hmm. So uh, why don't we add that to a sale pile? Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, do, do you guys? Mm-hmm. Sorry, do you guys think we have time to take ten minutes and rest, or do we need to get out of here quicker than that? Well, never mind. We need to get out of here. Hold on a second. The thug goes. Hold on a second. All right, oh. so the cat's out of the bag here. I'm actually a level 21 operative. Oh. If you let me make a call, I can get some guys here to secure this location, and we can be safe. And you guys can take your tent. I'll call Jarbaxa. And sure. We'll, Do it. And we'll get, we'll get some we guys here. You should not listen uh, to him. Sense notative. I want to see if he's telling the truth. <clears throat> oh, good call. He's, yeah, oh, yeah, was saying, saying, is he actually a level 21 operative? If you think everything's fine, he is. He is not a level 21 operative. He's not level 21. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, we only get a level 20. Wow, we're going to get so much experience. I shoot him immediately. Can't we get how much we learn. <laughs> Well, I was gonna say we had we had we hit him really easy for me. Well, kill him. The XP bonus would be amazing. <laughs> uh, my sense motive was poor. I rolled an eleven. But maybe somebody else would want to roll a sense motive as well. I do not have sense motive. No, you got a sense motive. You can use it on trained, right? Yeah. I have zero points. So do I. You might what if you roll a twenty? Yeah. Twenty three. Oh. I rolled an eleven as well. I rolled thirteen. But it hit the paper. So. Whoa! You should roll that puppy again. It stopped. Well, it's a I rolled um, thirteen. Now was actually taken in. Believe. Oh, I rolled a nineteen. And so is uh, so by not being trained, do you get you just get no kind of bonus? Yeah, it's it's you can still use sense motive untrained. Okay, so so it's not like computers. Oh so, yeah, it doesn't have the little. Yeah. little so both um, trigger and Nala <coughs> um, believe him, and he I actually slowly rolls up his sleeve. And you can see where he has the, the downside king tattoo. This and, he, like a and he's actually able to thing. scrape it off like there's some fake skin over it and, and reveal a tattoo that looks like a level 21 group. Whoa, that's cool. I believe we... <clears throat> I don't believe we were sent here to get involved in a gang war, were we? I'm pretty sure. I, 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 I've just been... I was just applying to get in here after what happened in the, on Docking Bay 94. 
Joe Boxer wanted somebody on the inside to make sure nothing like this happened again. I have no problems with letting you go. I just don't think we need to facilitate the... Dude, the war is over. I get you, let me make the call. I can get some guys here. We'll clean this place out. We'll make sure you get some, some credits out of this. Any of, the, any of the downside kings that are left, we war, don't care about war, them. Wars do need funds to uh, be fought. We can, we can use this information to uh, share with the society. And let us burn this place to the ground. They tried to kill me, so burn them. Why this are you taking that so personal? But, but listen to me. We could take all that stuff in that storeroom and all the stuff behind the bar. I know. We could sell all that. I am saying give it to you so that you can burn them to the ground so they no longer exist. <laughs> Ghost, go, 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 ghost. Yes, Trigger. You're not, you're, we have to buy things. Let's not burn it all to the ground. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, do whatever you need to do. I have no problem with that. So burn, before when I said burn, I meant figurative, not literal. Just not what Trigger <laughs> said. Yes. We not burn. All right, so, so he very slowly takes out his communicator. He shows it to you. He dials up a number. You have no idea if it's you, Fox or not. Do you have a sound effect for it? <laughs> I, am, I, am, I am keeping your pistol. I hand him his knife back. <laughs> Thank you. Th- Thank you for taking my pistol. Yeah, well, we're, we're not giving him his gun back. I can heal the same. <laughs> I remember healing last That's right, Trigger. Last you and I on the same page, buddy. Oh, yeah. Who else with Tyler? Hell, I still have my gun pointed at him. <laughs> what does it take you to do your, um, your stamina healing? It'll be in that turn, that round. What do you mean? Does it specifically say it can't be used out of combat? At any point after your last turn ended or something like that. To heal stamina? <laughs> you signal an ally within 30 feet who has taken damage from any attack made by a significant enemy at ah, any okay. point after your last turn. Yes, I remember reading this now yeah. because, yeah. So it's a little bit... Yeah, they, they, they wrote they wrote it very well, so you couldn't do what I want to do with it right now. Which is? Have them heal me. Oh, get your stamina back. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do you, because I already did you once. Oh, that too? I can't do the same ally or the same person until oh. we've taken a 10-minute rest. Okay. Is this conversation included in our 10 minutes? Probably. No, that was a meta conversation. <laughs> I can have somebody else attack you significantly. <laughs> Well, that's the thing is it, 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 it takes pains to be significant. While we're waiting for these guys to show up. Okay, okay, here. here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so what else we got to divvy up? Uh, so he says, Jarboxa, they clean this place up. Can you bring some guys down? We'll finish a job for them. I, th- I think we can make some money out of this. This can they. Say hi to Mama Fat for us. The, the, the crazy one says, hey, hi to Mama Fat. I am the crazy one. Jerk chicken. I kill him now. Jerk no. no. He called me crazy. I kill him. Everyone yeah. calls you crazy. Is, uh, a, uh, I kill everyone. Why do you think we're all calling you crazy? Is, I kill you now. Is oh good, my God. Ghost. 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 Yes. Look at me. Look at me. Yes, Trigger. You must breathe. <laughs> I must breathe? Oh my god, well, no, he's, a rat. Never. he's good at breathing. Never. never. I am very good at this. I go do this. No, later. no you will never do that. Oh, breathe. Never. breathe. We do not need more of this. Ah, okay. Remember, we have we get to go shopping Shop. with oh. somebody else's money. I like it. Yes. <laughs> we all like shopping with somebody else's money. Isn't that the best kind of shopping? Okay, very good. Oh, here's my yeah. grenade. Jules, that's all Bob and I do is shop with other people's money. No, no. <laughs> oh, that's, not bad. that's not great, but yeah. So, anyway, um, are we, you might just, be, we might not even be who you think we are. <laughs> did you did you uh, divvy up the loop then or no? Almost, almost. Uh, we got the credits divvied. Uh, we next have one more piece of armor, the troop ceremonial plate. It didn't sound like Adam was that interested in that. He said it wasn't that good. Let's see. It limited his movement because it was heavy armor. Uh, we, we, could always, we could always potentially sell it again. Uh, here's the definition. Heavy armor of sculpted metal plates offers good protection to the wearer. Its main purpose is to intimidate enemies. It's often used for honor guards, military exercises, or parades. Your ceremonial plate? It does have three upgrade slots. Uh, give it, to my it is brightly colored. It's made of no, shiny no, metal, no, elaborate no, helmets. No, no, no. Um, so, it, go ahead. Uh, Ozzy doesn't want it. He said, uh, go, uh, go. Three upgrade slots? Trigger can have it. The armor, if he wants the, it. 
Uh, there's one limitation. Trigger, it's got a bulk three. I Ooh. think Yosoki, like, we, yeah. we may have a bulk <laughs> three cap. Maybe even we less. All, I, think, I think so, Bob. So, uh, let, let's, uh, what does it work? Uh, 110. <laughs> Yeah, that's I say, we just, I say we I say we either so it's worth eleven credits, right? Yeah. It, okay. So I mean, is it even worth carrying for eleven credits? Sure. We'll sell okay. it for eleven. Maybe maybe we, we talk to uh, Javaxa. Let's see if she wants to offer it. Okay. Javax was a girl, I thought. No. But everybody's a girl. I put it on the sell list. Yeah, right. I mean, just because this thing says I can use heavy armor, I, I, I actually took it more because it allows me to use long arms, and at level three, I gain a weapon specialization box long arm. That's nice. I bet you one day you could do power armor, and that'll be good, too. Now, uh, here's Which one the next item. It? Which one centers it, Bob? What's that? Which one centers it? Uh, control and shift at the same time while clicking, I think. I just tried that. Oh, but maybe I have the. Con I can try. Uh, your box is there. I, just, I was just trying to bring a picture up. Yeah. But half an hour goes by. You guys are still counting your pennies out. I will take that opportunity to spend a resolve point and gain my stamina back. I will say you can certainly take take ten while you're doing this. And will you get uh, back after the ten. You get all your stamina back. If you spend a resolve point, then you guys have three grenades. Three grenades. You have to figure out what to do with. You've got one frag and two incendiary, all level ones. Yeah, I'm the melee guy. I don't need grenades. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing you don't I, want. I need grenades. I, get, I, um, I don't need grenades, but I am. Uh, so an incendiary is 1d6, 1d4 burn. It only has a 5-foot range, where the frag is a 1d6 with a 15-foot radius. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the radius. I'll, I'll take I'll take the frag. Josh, uh, Jeff, do you want to take the incendiary ones? I think I have a smoke and a frag back at the uh, room, so I don't need one right now. That's a good place for him. I do not need them now. All right, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, take, the two, I'll take the two incendiary ones then. Yeah, I have no uh, comfortable place to put them. Okay, uh, once you guys <laughs> have no place to put them, no I comfortable assume, place to put them. Everyone who's taking stuff is writing it down, <clears throat> but I'll write down what's being sold. Hmm. So if you're taking those, Trigger, um, on yep, you, write it, write it right down. down. Okay, next hmm. item is a weapon. It's the auto target rifle with 50 total rounds, five magazines, for 10 cartridges each. Is that is that the long arm one? I think so. I'm looking it up right now. And and is that the one arm. you said that would be good for me, or who who here you is proficient in long arms? Not me. We well, got Ozzy is and our mechanic. You're the only two. Oh, then it. give it to the mechanic. Here's what it is. It is a level two weapon. Costs seven fifty five. It does one d six piercing. I meant to look everything up and get all the pictures. It's a range of sixty feet. Weapons. It's the automatic rifle with basic. Uh, it fires continuously for as long as the trigger is depressed, and fresh rounds are available in the magazine. What is it called? Uh, auto target rifle. It has the analog characteristic and the automatic uh, characteristic. The automatic lets you basically unload a clip in a special attack. And you can look that up. The automatic and what characteristic? Analog. Okay. It's very cool, so I'm slick. <laughs> Here you go, man. I'm going to throw it into the chat window for you. Not auto beam, auto, auto target. Auto target. Auto target. Auto target. So, uh, it's I, in the, uh, uh, it's in the chat window now. And there are five uh, magazines for it? Correct. Oh, look at you. Which each has ten rounds. You know, Lola does that and it's a lot cuter, but nobody thinks it's impressive. Okay, we have one final item. Yeah, yeah. The no, last item. Stuff. Oh, we have two items. You we got the tactical so, pistol. So like a. Uh, it and put okay. it the last item <laughs> So the tactical <laughs> pistol is actually a physical item. It yes. does. It doesn't fire charges. It fires projectiles. Right. It does piercing. All yes. these items are physical, but yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> it's a light arm, so anybody can use it. Does anybody want a gun that shoots shoots bullets instead of lasers? And it does one d six, I think, instead of one d four. How novel. <laughs> How archaic, even though it's not actually archaic. Computer. Uh, go, go, I want something. What's the range on it? Uh, yeah. I'll look it up. Who got, yeah. the, who got the hollow skin? 30 feet. Jeff. 30 feet? <laughs> Do you have any use for it? So more damage, I want range. something. <laughs> and it has nine rounds instead of the laser pistol's 20. What is it worth? It's not good. 260. <laughs> Let's sell it. 
I I think I would like to take it in case we have somebody who's immune to energy. Yeah. Oh, good. okay. So why don't we hang on to it and get a few extra rounds when we're buying stuff? That's Sounds fine. good. And then we can sell some of the azimuth pistols. <laughs> yeah, because we have a whole pile of azimuth pistols, and yep. we really don't need a whole pile of those. Like something like that. It might, we might need something physical to break through a window or, mm-hmm. or, a, uh, or yeah, an animal, no, a creature. Yeah, that's, that's, so we can throw through the window. Good idea. <laughs> but it, I might suggest it might be nice to have each, each of you have two light pistols, because when one runs out, you can just draw the other instead of spending the time to reload. Or you can hold two also, in each hand. That's really cool. And yeah. you can fire with two at the same time. That looks really cool. Pew 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 pew. Both like <laughs> both in one hand. Yes. With our long trigger fingers. Crashing through a window in slow motion, so. preferably backwards, falling out of a like a skyscraper. You know, not everyone has shooting back. Long fingers mm-hmm. like us. How many so. uh, how many extra azimuth pistols do we currently have? Uh, well, everybody has claimed them, so. Uh, I think. Oh, you can have this back. Okay, we got one extra from Ozzy right now, and I've got, I've got one extra as well. I only have one, and now this long arm. So here, take Ozzy's. Here you go. You have now two azimuth pistols. I have one with me and one in the room. Does Jules need a second one first? She has. She's got. She's got a second one now. Oh, okay. (laughs) So. Jeff has two. I picked one up from somebody, and I have one back to the room. So you have so two. So Trigger, you should take that. <coughs> Second okay. pistol. Right. It's a little wet. Don't mind the cheap pouch. Oh, no, wait. Mine can come from the cheap pouch. That's my... Uh, we are almost done, guys. Uh, we have two Mark I serums of healing. I, I uh, uh, Ghost, I think you should those. hold those because of your, ba- your medical training background. You do not need training for this. This is for people who failed. The school of medicine. <laughs> I failed the school of medicine. You should, <laughs> you should give one you to the big guy. guy. <laughs> exactly. I think you should give one to Ozzy because he's the one in the front, and I think you should give one to Eileen so she should get something. She's feeling left out. Yeah, because it'll shut her up. I, I want agree. Something. Who's the point of you? you guys want to write that down? You have two, uh, each have <laughs> one uh, healing serum, Mark one. And the last thing is the azimuth artillery laser. With yeah. two batteries. I don't need a second one of those. You want a battery? Sure. Okay. Uh, this is a heavy weapon. Can you? Is there anybody else who can use a heavy weapon? So it had two batteries, so you get one, and there's still one in the gun. Yeah. 1D10. Was, Trig- the, was the entrance satisfactory for that? What? Was the you can use a heavy weapon, right, Trigger? <laughs> I, 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 I love getting blasted. It's not Damn. a heavy weapon. You cannot use heavy weapons? pull the door apart, Covenant. No, <laughs> I, I, I can use long arms. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is a heavy weapon. So uh, I, I can't use that one. Sounds so like why don't we sell it since nobody can use it? Agree. It's worth four twenty five, so we can get forty two and a half for it. But I'll just round up to forty three. I just want to point out this is a beast of a weapon. It's one D ten. One D ten, if you do a critical, it's one D six burn. It's got twenty charges, a range of one twenty feet. That's a Does it use two weapon. charges per fire? It does. Uh, <clears throat> okay. All right, yeah, so we'll throw it into the cell phone. I, 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 I can use heavy armor and Mark long arms, but not heavy weapons. Okay. So, okay, so how many extra credits are we going to get from selling stuff? 41 plus 11 plus 42 and a half. Exactly correct. Divided by five. Call it 20 each. Sounds good. It's 20 each. It's 20 so, each. Wait, if you guys so were, 20 each. it's twenty each. If you guys put the two ninety each from before, now you add twenty on top of that. All right. <laughs> At least I'm interrupting anything at the moment. I, I just like I, I went into the, I didn't know what the noise was, and my reflex went. <laughs> <laughs> Can we help you too? Okay. No, give me my phone. Mm-hmm. Oh. Josh, is there? So the tablet that she had that I that I've taken and kept. After after we provide the information to the, physician, they'll, they'll take the tablet. Oh damn! Okay, it's a tier one tablet. It's junk. Oh okay okay. Uh, well, we've uploaded it to our. You have a copy of what's I, I on it. Know, I, I didn't know if it was a good tablet or a crappy one. It's a tier one. It's not. It's something special. Did we send it to Chex Mix? You have to bring it to Chex Mix. <laughs> Does it have Angry Birds? Or Fruit Ninja? No, it has the Ooh, one that's impossible to play. Ninja. Flappy Birds. Flappy Birds. Yes. Oh, that's good. Careful. I just My took them out. My friend went to the Sports Center Arcade and beat the Flappy Bird record and got 500 tickets. Oh, that's right. So he could buy like a pencil with that. Yeah. yeah. 
You buy like a plastic skull ring. Did Probably anybody take the quick release sheath armor upgrade? Uh, we didn't discuss that. Oh, we What's did the not. Sir? The quick release, quick release sheath sir. armor upgrade. Oh, did I miss that? Yes. Oh, you made me, you made me kick him in the head. Uh, My kick's all on the head two weeks ago. I am fasting already. Fine. I do not need that. Is that something uh, Nala, uh, in, uh, Jules can use? What is it? What, yeah, what is it? It sounds like something that allows you to draw a weapon as a swift action. It's my guess. Is it is it light armor or is it more? Is it? It sounds like an armor add-on. It's an armor upgrade, so it would probably take the upgrade slot in your armor, and then it would you would not oh, have okay. the upgrade slot anymore. Okay. So. Yeah, it's worth three twenty-five. Jules, you, Jules, do you want it, or is that not your thing because you don't want to kill anybody? Takes. <laughs> so this would be like imagine. You put the gun on your wrist. Who you... was that? It's, it's, he's been what do you think? doing that all night. It wasn't true. Well, it wasn't you, so it had to be Jeff. So you would trigger it, so we'll it would, the gun would pop out, and go immediately into your hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you can give that to somebody else. As a swift action. Yeah. Is it light armor, Bob? Does it qualify as light? It is, uh, night, yeah, it's, it's light bolt. Good night. So it, good, night. Uh, good night. Sleep well. Thank you. It's not a kind of armor. It attaches to your armor. So your second skin allows for one upgrade. This, yeah, this, yeah. this could be added to your second skin armor. And then you would no All longer right. have an upgrade slot available on your second skin. Um, I mean, I'm guessing that's either good for you or I, Bob. Uh... Actually, it's less useful for you because you can take something out of your, your cheek pouch as a quick action. Yeah. And actually, as a swift oh, action. So I it agree. actually benefits anybody but you. I agree. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now... Uh, you guys uh, just want them off. Uh, I, I, I don't think she feels she needs it. Is this true? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take it, but I'm going to put it... I, my armor's looking a little dinged up. I'm probably going to put it in my next set of armor. Huh? You'll need a... But it's only for a one-handed okay, weapon. Is your tack lash a one-handed? Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect then, yeah. Yeah, that works for you. So <laughs> Keep my tack lash when I get my pike. Hmm. Just, just, whoosh, whoosh. I like it. Oh, 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 it's gonna activate when I draw my hand back, so I'm already coiled to ready to strike with the tack lash. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God. I love it. Did I miss any other loot? I think that was all. Okay, okay that was all. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, What's that thing called again? Uh, that is called a quick release sheath. <laughs> okay, thank you. Armor upgrade. All right, so Javoxa shows up. We go back to him. Wow, you guys have been busy in here. Yes? Mm-hmm. Good night. Um, I have to be out the door by 7.30. What time wake you up? 6.15? It's New Year's 6.30. Year. That's crazy to think about. Yeah, that. most of us are still working. I have a doctor's appointment at 8 o'clock. Ugh. 6.30. Yeah. Night, guys. Happy New Year. Good night. Night. Happy, Happy New Year. Night. Night, Amy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Mikey. I'm the, not going to uh, say Happy New Year because I love you. <laughs> so he comes in. He's <laughs> picking, kind of picking through the the disaster that you guys have left behind. Oh, he's leaving Starfinder Society to come. <clears throat> Chabaxa was the, uh, the leader of the Level 21 group. Oh, Chabaxa, not Chip. Not, uh, not Chiskis. Chis- 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 Sorry. Chocolate. So Chabaxa comes in. He's looking around at the disaster. The other part of the building's empty. Everybody's been cleared out. And uh, he's like, well, you guys did a great job cleaning up in here. He's the Ahsoka. Remember? Yes, he's uh, this guy right here. Yeah. Um, do you want to center that? I was thinking it was more Ford, but it's okay. No. Mm-hmm. You want to be Ford? Okay, so. No, you guys the Ahsoka great... needs to be Ford. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys did a great job here. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to liquidate everything here, or we're going to send you 50% of that. How this do we is know a it? good deal, but I would also suggest... We have just destroyed your competition. Perhaps one day we shall ask of you a favor. And when that day comes, you shall give us that favor. But you see, I know that you got what you wanted too. You got your proof. My friend told me so. So we are even. But you no, could never we are destroy even. them. We are even. But we didn't know what all stuff. No, 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 that proof clears you guys. Also, so we're not even. Oh, that is oh. true. We were never, we were never under investigation. Oh, you, uh, you, you star you, fighters? Was that sure who killed? We under investigation. <laughs> the police. We are doing you the favor of liquidating everything. He will give you half. Sixty. Sixty. Yes, sixty. That is smart. 
We did all this, and you get this. You get this whole you club. Get, you get forty. You, you get forty percent for for, for, for for doing nothing. nothing. And you get the. Money I have to sell everything. Club. But then you get and the it's, club and the revenue. And from as we've all seen on Pawn Stars, no, that is my problem. Because it takes some space in my shop. <laughs> I take the risk of being able to sell it. Oh, okay. If you took it to an auction, you'd get half as much. Oh, that's true. Okay. Okay. Here, I'll take the five dollars then. Thank you. I will give. You, I will give you. I'll, okay. I will, I, will, I, will, I will give you forty percent. And ten percent of the sake of the club for the next two years. No. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Trigger. What do you think? EBITDA, though, not revenue. <laughs> <laughs> you used the finance term. <laughs> Give it <laughs> up. <laughs> how was he, he get? How, how is he going to get us the money? And how do we know? Like, what if no one's here to keep an eye on that? Actually, EBITDA is almost equivalent to revenue. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I barely know what he stands for. This feels like an episode of Space Shark Tank now. <laughs> yeah. hi, hi, Space Sharks. I'm looking for 40% of your club for an investment of 40 of 40,000. What did you say, Mikey? He has her earnings before income and taxes or something. Yeah. Yeah, oh, depre- EBIT. Anyway. Taxes, taxes depreciation, sh- interest. Are you finished? I'm taking your money away. Uh, <laughs> well, we know that we'll actually be wait, getting... Wait, wait, wait. So, so, no, 40%, the, the 40% plus... plus Plus ten percent of the club for the next two years. Yes. Uh, so forty percent of what we sell. Plus ten percent of the club for the next two years. Uh, of the club's take for the next two years. And that's not each. That's split amongst all of us. Yes. Yeah. You no. You're talking about the the oh the the, the, the plant. You, got, yeah. you never got his name. What is his name? I think I think I, I okay. So I, I talked to the group right, kind of on the side. Holt. I I, 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 I I think this is good good a good deal for ten percent of the, this club probably rakes rakes money. You saw how many people were out there. How much money is it actually getting legally that we will be able to? The none of the money is legal. There, there are some yeah, questions not, that are yeah, better off not Nothing not is legal. Hey. We're not going to get the correct. There's no way they're actually going to give us ten percent. Hey, Mikey. Yeah. What? Exceptionally loud. What was that? Exceptionally loud. <laughs> the door closed and the curtain. I'll put the other curtain up. Burn, We're having an answer <laughs> We're talking about money. Well, that's the problem. No, stop. No killing. No, no, no killing. No, there is no killing. They are dead. Look, that is the dead wolf. That is the dead club guy. My, Mikey goes through the... the Mikey goes to the tablet, oh my God. and he finds out that the uh, the um, downside kings are doing a killing here. Now, granted, half of it was drugs, which which level twenty one crew doesn't do. Yeah, but they will they will operate the club and the revenue from the drinks in the club and that kind of stuff was you'll you'll do well. <coughs> Let us do that. I agree. Forty five percent. Do not kill today what you can kill tomorrow. Yes. Little girl. Forty one. No one asked you to talk. <laughs> I don't remember anyone asking you either. Ooh, no. Look at that sex. What did your mom just say to you? <laughs> Excuse me. It's a deal. I tell him it's a deal and I shake his hand. Okay. Just spit on it first. Just a little you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't go back on their word. All right. So he just ponies. I believe that for a second. <laughs> he ponies up um, 1,500 credits. This should, this should cover your 40% of what you're going to make here. So we get 300 each. Notice how I picked the number that evenly divided by five. So we've got a total of oh, about wow. 600 credits. I have 940 credits. Too bad you haven't figured out what you're going to buy with it yet. That was not my other sheet. Yeah, I'm sitting on 960, pretty close to you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to assume I have that, though. All right. I almost have to steal a little girl, huh? stealing stuff from people. Mm-hmm. I don't, so. <laughs> what was that, Mikey? It's a pretty good deal, little girl. <laughs> what the I do? So, all right, so. Can you telepathically send an eye roll? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can send the feeling of the eye roll. You know what? Your eye roll telepathically went right over my head. I'm two and a half feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so you've successfully solved this problem. You should report back to Chiskix. Let him let them know what you found. Um, we you have s- a copy of the data. 
you have a copy of the data, which will probably provide you with no value, but you do have the original to, to provide the Chiskix. You are, um, Chiskix may have another assignment for you, but you have nothing directly to do at the moment. Uh, and you have time to shop and spend some of that money. Doesn't he have to pay us more money too when we give him this? What do you mean? Just kicks. Doesn't he owe us, doesn't he owe us more money for solving this? Well, you know, I went, he, he paid us 200 He pays you 200 up front. He, and there is nothing else in here about finding more. But we might become members of the Star Finder Society now for doing this favor and solving this mystery. That is, that is correct. That was kind of implied that you would get to join the Star Finder Society. Okay. Do, I'll, I'll um, take that do the Starfinders get like discounts at shops? Should we go visit him first? Become Starfinders? <laughs> them. Them. Oh. Just kicks is a them. Is them? It's it's not. There's there's three there's three sexes for the shearing: yeah, male, female, and the and the carrier. Don't be so trinary. And, uh, they're the Borg. I'm so 2018. <laughs> Dude, you should try going to high school. <laughs> Just kicks pronouns are him, her, and them. Got it. Well, Sheeran. Oh, Sheeran pronouns. Excuse yes. Me. That's right. Good to know. Uh, <clears throat> I, I think we should report in and, and see if they honor us getting into the Starfinder Society and then go shopping. Yes, that way the shopping will either be a victory shopping or a sad make us feel better about ourselves shopping. <laughs> Says the only female at the table. <laughs> One will be useful equipment. The other one will be ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know about you, but I am looking for. A, <laughs> I am looking for a slimming dress. Goes <laughs> <laughs> with my fur. Uh, just kicks, you said you would look but for more information. You're, you're, going, about you're going to go to just kicks. I'm trying to move us along. I'm moving the camera. <laughs> Let me do this. You guys get back to the Lord Spire Complex. You <laughs> walk right in. Just kicks has been monitoring someone um, using agents, and you're seen right in to see them. Greetings, my friends. It is good to see you again. It have is you not had, easy being green. Have you had easy. success? <laughs> ah, yes, we have. We have some proof here that you may want to see. Let me see. There's tapping on it. And with, with the... With, with the, the Yeah. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. Oh, this is excellent. May I keep this to provide to the appropriate authorities? We have copies. Thank you. Well, it is my honor then. To uphold my portion of the of the job of, of our deal, and invite you to join the Starfinder Society. Oh, now, sure. There's no background check or anything. Like, no, they are you silky it. friends? We do not want a background <laughs> check. We just want to accept these. Yeah, so, <laughs> so they re they reach into their desk and provide and pull out. And I actually tried to 3D print these, but my 3D printer would not cooperate. Bob, if you scroll to the right some more, yeah. Mikey, you too. Keep yeah. going. You are each provided with a. A I tried a 3D print one for each of you. Ooh, cool. You are each provided a, a Starfinder badge. Um, with this, you will now have access, full access to the archives. I know Naala has spent some time there. She should get access to anything now. You will be uh, provided accommodations when you visit any Starfinder any Starfinder location that we can that has a, a lodging. So you will not have to stay in hotels any longer. Uh, you can also make make use of our medical bays and um, several of our other internal functions. Um, in return, we ask that you undertake occasional missions and help further our cause. And what is the cause <coughs> of the Starfinders? The Starfinders is to understand what happened during the gap mm. and to ex further explore the universe. We mm. find stars. Okay. And societies. You did not just say that. We're going to take that back right now. Yes, yes, it's very is exciting. Is this thing a communicator too, or is it just a badge thing? What was that? Is this thing a communicator too? No. Nope. Like, is it a leader? No, it yeah, is. You it's, don't tap it, it doesn't go do do do. No, it's just a badge. But if only we had a mechanic who could re trigger his to turn it into <laughs> a communicator. <laughs> Have you found any more information on the Hell Knights? Uh, I will I will get into that for you and, and get you something before, in the next couple of days. Do you know? Thank you. <laughs> I am displeased. Our deal was I do this for you, you get information for me. That is I am I tabulating have... it. We did to Tabulate faster, please. That's but... why I said I'll have it for you tomorrow. Hey, hey Ozzy. <laughs> I like how it went from the next couple of days to tomorrow. Mm. <clears throat> I feel pretty good about myself. Ozzy, we did this whole thing in like six hours. No, no, we, we got a couple we, days. It was overnight. We slept. Yeah, there were a couple days. Lizard yeah, months. Lizard months. I 
I heard him say he was going to give it to you. Do you want me to kill him? Oh my god, I'm not! If any killing needs to be done, I can do it myself. Thank you, little one. You are rather cute. Uh, Speaking of killing, (laughs) now you have this information. Why did they kill the little man? So, he starts looking at the tablet. It is, it is, ah, uh, God, I lost, the, I lost the accent I was using. <laughs> it was good. It was like Kermit-esque. It, it, was, uh, it, it was used, they were using it to, to uh, send a, a warning to the Hard Scrabble Collective and to the, uh, and to us to stay out of their business. Why now? Why do they bother? Because them they want the drift drive to themselves. Oh, that thing on the on the news on the that is attached to the Akrian. Oh, sheep. How yes. ha, how has the Starfinder Society crossed swords with the hard scrabble? It's not hard scrabble. It's it would be with, a, the, with astral extractions. Well, it's more about Durval Creel. Durval mm-hmm. Creel was the was both a member of the Starfinder Society and a member of the Hard Scrabble Collective. But so so by keep by by, by assassinating him, and sending note to the Hard Scrabble and. It, it, he was our person of interest. The person in the Starfinder Society who was interested in this process specifically. Hmm. Sure Usually we would stay out of, of politics. Interest. Normally we would stay out of politics. So do you think it was strange coincidence that we were showing up and then there was the killing of, of the little guy? It's very strange, no? Wrong place, wrong time. Huh. <laughs> okay. So well, look at how that turned out for us. Look, look at the guy who... who, miss, who uh, who had a bad throw on that grenade. <laughs> Boy, was he in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> Actually, he survived, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> it, interestingly enough, when the module was written, originally it was a Sheeran that was killed, and mm. and you would report to the dwarf. And then they realized that was stupid because you should be looking at the science fiction side, so they switched it. Ah, <laughs> yeah, interesting point. That's cool backstory. So... Um, and we are in your records now. If if anyone looks in the database, they see that you we are part of Starfinder Respectable Society now. Yeah, that is correct. Good. Okay. Good. Um, just just so you guys are aware that the Starfinder Society is not what it once was. A couple years earlier, they had been involved in a in a horrible incident that lost almost two thirds of the society. Oh. That's what um, Nala is investigating because her grandmother was one of those. The scorched star. The scorched star incident. Um, they sent a whole, almost two, th- three quarters of their fleet to investigate this. They got wiped out. And uh, Stargo Bowl. a handful of people made it back. Is this common knowledge? Yes. This, okay. Yes. He's not, not knowledge. Investigate. Wants, that's part of the backstory. My grandmother was lost. Sucks to be you. Yeah. <laughs> At least no, he knows. I'm Starfinder. <laughs> um, in the meantime... I will, I will see if we have any missions coming up and uh, enjoy the hospitality of Absalon Station. You are now welcome to stay here instead of paying rent. You will see that your accommodations. And um, enjoy. There's a cafeteria where you can eat for free and there's a bar where you can drink for less. When did you not say that first? Because you are not a member of a first. What? There is free food. There is free beer. He said no, beer. Less. no. Discount less. beer. Discount. Is there a free cheese? <coughs> Is there a discount only the Swiss, shop? Only the holes in the Swiss are free. Oh, oh, oh. Funny guy. I kid him now? He's our man. We're getting closer. Okay. We are done with you. <laughs> no. I will see you tomorrow, Chessmi- Chexmix. <laughs> that is not his name. I will send, I it's will, close enough. I will send it to you. You will not need to come. Make sure I do not. What does he smell? You do not want to talk mm-hmm. to him again? Oh my God. I am trying to save him the trip. Save the trip? I mean, you're the big honcho. He wants to talk to you. You say I yes. am a very busy. I am a very busy. This sure. is none of your business. I don't mm-hmm. understand. Just why don't we kill him? It's just <laughs> <laughs> we're not killing. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Yet. We try not to kill the boss on the first day, mm. unless he's really incompetent. Mm. Which he is not he proven himself but, to be. But in this so case, they are not incompetent. In the food. <laughs> All right, let's go check out this cafeteria. That is huh? the problem with your voice. It's three decibels. It's ten decibels higher than your usual voice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I can do it a little bit quiet. That's I think that's, this is much more reasonable. I think so too. So does my wife. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have a little free time. Okay. Um, Shopping a hoe. You, you, you take a quick canter around Starfinder. Uh, s- s- spire or whatever it is there and you find 
There's a cafeteria. The food's not great, but it's free. Oh, that's good. Um, I, I'll take quality over quantity over quality any day. You find a, a lodging. It's it's a, it's a room versus a uh, you know a hole in the wall. The medical the medical treatment looks pretty good. You, you patched up any hit points you've lost or any uh, resolve. Any resolve comes back with the rest, but we'll assume anything happens the next day, so you can clean every you can recharge everything you want. I don't know why you specified you want. I don't know why you wouldn't want to recharge something. It, it's but. late in the day when this when this finishes. So I assume you're just gonna wind down for the day and make your plans for the next. Sure. Are yeah. we gonna find a place to stay, or are we going back to the hotel? You can stay at the no. Starfinder Complex. Now I am going back to the hotel and gather all my stuff. There you go. Oh yeah. Okay. So you do that, and then you. Which I believe you, is just my freaking cannon. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just left it there and taken the one they left there. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Nala and I at least you go back and get their regular clothes. <laughs> I would assume you probably did that before you went to see Jesse. I would assume. Yeah, so. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, you you're all located now at the Star. Are you are the Rat Pack staying at the Starfinder Complex? Oh yeah, okay. uh, I think unless Trigger says otherwise. Trigger, are we staying here with the Starfinders? I think your plan is working. Uh, we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll stay here now. Okay. Now we'll I see you're staying. We can we 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 we, we can buy stuff now. Okay. In case you wanted the shop. Or did you already know what you tomorrow. want? <laughs> no, you won't. You won't. But the armor, there is a, look. There are rules for adjusting armor in here. Mm. Hey, you. you can also look at a fusion or an augmentation. That sounds complicated. Uh, a fusion you add to a weapon um, to give it a special power, like one fusion that yeah. um, Bob was looking at. Listen, allows the weapon to appear as something else, like a scarf. But then you can, then nobody can, nobody will disarm you because they won't recognize you as a weapon. <clears throat> Another, the augmentations, there was Dragon of Breath, I think, was an augmentation, in fact. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember you showing me that. So, um, this is <clears throat> the next day. Um, are you playing in this shop in the regular shop? So, you're going downside? I should say downside of Kings. Are you going to the, uh, I forget the lower levels are called. The going lower. down the spire? Where are you going? We shop everywhere. I'm going for an armor. What part of the station are you shopping for an armor in? Wherever I can find an armor, I will ask around. You know what? We've got some time. You do. We have time to explore this entire ship to find stuff that we want to find. Does the Rat Pack have anywhere that they're suggesting you go? Uh, I think it would be interesting to see the Lizard Man negotiate. So he, he, uh, Ghost is tempted to tag along. But you had another... You had a... Yeah, I had a few things. Let me no, remember. you had a, a person you could work with. An NPC. I sent you guys an NPC note about... Mm, where is it? I think it was in the back. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on, you made it to 10 o'clock. Jeff's still awake. Mm. Oh, I'm surprised. Mm. Uh, Absolute Station... You went down the spike if you wanted to. Ah, uh, yes. The diamond. So since my weapon proficiency is only basic melee, that means I can only buy basic melee weapons. You can buy whatever you want. Just you won't get your proficiency bonus when you use it. Okay. Yes. You can also buy something to not use. With plans of, of getting a, of, of grabbing a skill later on when you when you level up. These are none. These are none. We know somebody. We know somebody who can get you good armor. Has good reputation. You didn't, you, didn't you just get here? Eh, our reputation precedes us. We know people. You know people. Know people. You 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 know Yusoki who makes armor that will fit a vest. Yes. There's no reason. There's no reason not to check out those wares. All right. Do you? Uh, I don't know that you have a contact for that person, but you ask around. Jarboxa did give you a Jarboxa gave you some contact information. So you're able to reach out to him, mm -hmm. and uh, he knows exactly who you're talking about and tells you how to get there. <clears throat> don't be scared. 
it is in a dangerous place. But I assume we can't get things higher than our level, right? If you if you if you sold me on a special reason why, but I wouldn't necessarily let you use it right away. Makes sense. Let me tell you something, little one. Mm. When danger comes knocking on the door, it doesn't come looking for me. I'm the one who knocks. That is very catchy. That's probably one of the smartest things you've ever said. You are very scary. You should wear like a special hat. You should cut, <laughs> shave your shave your scales. That is very scary. Shave your scales. You are a scary type. I, I've heard that, that some people find certain types of eyewear intimidating as well. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. You are in wrong business. <laughs> you should be actor. Hmm. Ozzy in the middle. Yes. <laughs> Pretty catchy. Well, where do you think Walter White went afterwards? <laughs> oh, wait. I meant before. Right. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to forward this onto Mike so he can remember this conversation. As we're walking around, uh, um, Ozzy's also looking at keeping an eye open for anything that looks like an armorer. <clears throat> so While we're going to the Yosoki special contact. So as, as you wander through the eye on your way out, you pass armorers, weaponers, and you, you, you get a note of the prices, and they're 15% higher than what's listed in the book. You, you know they're ripping you off, but it's because you're hop- shopping in a high-end location. Okay. I really just want a price shop, so good. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Um, you get into a uh, a lift. Uh, ghost and Trigger bicker about how to get there. No, it is this way. No, it is that way. Finally, Ghost pulls up a... Uh, I mean, trigger, trigger holographically displays a map of the station right in front of Ghost and says, No, here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are right, Trigger. Sorry, Trigger. Yes, Jules. So, usage four means that it takes up... For whatever's each time you shoot it. Yes. Okay. Four Mike, your audio still works, right? Well, this one is. Um, yeah, yeah, it's I'm, an, I hear you. Okay. So it's on patrol. Petrol. Yeah. Well, I meant. <laughs> Not patrol. Petrol. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I get it. <laughs> All right. Um, Ghost and trigger. You wanted. You you, you lead them down. Um, <clears throat> down some dirty, dirty alleys. There's a dingy shop. Neon signed. It says uh, Diamond Defense and Surplus. It looks skeevy. <laughs> I at least and Nile are kind of put off by the uh, the appearance of the store. But based on your your guest, I assume they're going to show up. Are you going in? Oh yeah. For sure. Oh uh, okay, I don't want to. Sure. You're you're going shopping. Yeah, I'm going shopping in the book. <laughs> I'm a catalog shopper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you know what that is. <laughs> she shops online catalogs. Oh, online. Okay, I'm thinking, but she's actually got a physical book in front of her. Yes. I, I mean, know what on. a catalog is. <laughs> what does the inside of the shop look like? The inside of the shop is... Uh, it somehow you don't understand how the, how it's so popular. You don't. It doesn't seem like it's a big location. There's definitely. Is this bigger on the inside? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. Um, January first. There, there's, there's stuff hanging all over the place. There's uh, at least there's there's a couple different. Um, uh, I don't want to say cubbies, but areas where you can see a guy working, um, who's clearly got some mystic bent. Another techno guy over here. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, the, this female, female Yosoki clad in knives uh, appro- approaches you. Wait, she's clad in knives? Right there. That mm-hmm. sounds dangerous. That sounds really uncomfortable. She makes, she makes it look good, huh? Oh, okay. <coughs> I thought she was... <coughs> no. Only, only wearing knives. <laughs> yeah, that's the way you made it it's not. It's not, the, it's not the, 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 the Sword of Thrones or whatever it is from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Sorry. Adam's going to text. Oh, my Amy's phone is here. <laughs> That's why she had to come down instead of texting you and tell us to shut the hell up. <laughs> I've done that before. Uh, so you're, you're greeted by the Ahsoki. She comes up right up to Trigger and Ghost, and they do the uh, the funny weird sniff nose thing that, that Ahsoki do. Are they sniffing each other's butts? No, no, it's just, it's just okay. Well, they might some sort of barbarian. No, <laughs> that right away. Right away. No. Um, you do get the impression that there's more to the store than you can see, um, but the, most of what you see in front of you is rather mundane, 
levels one through five kind of stuff. Um, but there's definitely armor and, and weapons, melee weapons, ranged weapons, um, other kinds of weapons. You even see hanging hanging up there a blade that looks like it'll mount to a tail. Really? Yes, like a Vesk tail. Ooh, wow. I forgot I had a tail. <laughs> Now. <laughs> Sorry, it's got a mind of its own. <laughs> That's what I hear. I want to right, leave Barb. now. <laughs> what was that? I want to leave now. Yes, hashtag me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what that means. <laughs> no, actually, it's exactly what it means. No, tale of its own is it's a quote from Spaceballs. Barf. Barf was the was the half man, half thog, his own oh, best friend. Dog. My best friend. The movie. <laughs> <laughs> Gre- greetings. It is always good to see more Yasoki here. I agree. It is I, nice to meet you. I am I'm Lana. Looking, I'm looking down like I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am uh, Lana Nokorisi, but people call me Diamond. You are Lana Nokorisi. Yes, I am. Do you, you know? Have you heard of me? Celebrity. Yes. I am. No, no, no. no. You are the best. No, no, no. You give people the thing so they can kill other people. <laughs> yes, I do that. But flattery will not get you a discount here. No, oh, it's okay. Is there anything that will? <laughs> <laughs> I am. More ghost. money. <laughs> I am ghost. You're a ghost. Okay. He's, he's trigger. Hello. He is like my brother. He is like your brother. I thought, I thought he was your brother. <laughs> you are st- does he look like me? Oh, look at him. Look at me. <laughs> you all look the same to do me. I thought they were all brothers. You did not just say that. They, they all look the same to you. Trigger, can I kill him now? <laughs> he's no! He is racist. I cannot believe this. Maybe, maybe later. Okay. He, the, the, Lana looks to you guys, Diamond. They all look this into me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can I get for you? How, we all is any, are any of you um, wearing your Starfinder badge or insignia at all? Or are you just, is it in your pocket somewhere? Is uh, it? Ghost is not wearing his. He's keeping it in a pocket, especially down below. Especially when we were down below. I think especially we when we first okay. arrived. The, okay. the only Starfinder guy we knew got shot in the head. Mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, <laughs> we, point there, do Bob. we see anybody else wearing Starfinders? You don't see, and there's nobody else in the store at this point. There's, there's two guys working in those stalls. Um, doing Did work. we see anybody on the way down? You passed people randomly, but Were nobody particular. No, they're mostly you know what? people... Regular civil We're not wearing our badges. You know why? We don't need those thing badges. You might still be credit for that. <laughs> I set you up. I know. <laughs> um, uh, so she she takes a knife out of her, like 50 knives on her. She's picking her She's teeth. She's fighting knives. <laughs> She's cleaning her teeth with it. And uh, she goes, Wait a minute. Are you the ones who took care of, of uh, Farhani? That depends. What did you think of her? <laughs> Were you friends with the level 21 gang? I'm friends with everybody. I sell. How much do they buy is how much I... <laughs> they will not be buying much from you anymore. Mm. I feel like we might have hurt her business by ending a war. Nah, <laughs> they're always new wars. There's war. always new customers. Look who war. here. Never changes. I have five here today. What, what can I get for you? Uh, the lizard man. I seen him in a fight. He is pretty good. He takes a lot of damage, and he is looking for better armor. Is Does his tongue not work? What? Does is his tongue not work? Can he not uh, tell me what he wants? No, he's not. He's not very good with the words. It, ta- it, it takes a long time for him to say. You don't, you do, you, you don't want to hear him talk. He's got the IQ of a peanut, and don't get too close. He smells horrible. I didn't realize peanuts were so smart. <laughs> <He's a funny laughs> guy. What can I get you, big man? Besides the mouth without a hole in it. <laughs> it's just ice. <laughs> Henry's gone, so it's okay. Uh, um, I'm looking for... As you can see, my armor is quite dented. It's less effective than it used to be, perhaps. Look for something that is more of an upgrade and, and perhaps a little shinier and newer. Uh, something in the thousand credit range. Did you have something specific? Specifically, I wanted <laughs> thin plate. Level 2 armor, plus 4 EAC, plus 6 KAC, plus 2 max dex bonus, minus 3 armor check penalty, speed adjustment 10 feet, upgrade slots 1, and if you could put this into it too at the same time, that'd be fantastic. What does the max dex dex bonus do? Uh, I can only have, when you're 
You can only have that your dex bonus up to that point only. So plus oh, well, two my dex, dex bonus, bonus is literally one. Oh, so then, then you don't want anything with a zero dex bonus. Yeah. Okay, my armor is back there. He will, he will, he will outfit you with it. I'm gonna talk to him. Okay. Is that is all? Is that all your armor? Is that yeah. all you're interested in? Your, what about your pike? Can't afford it. Uh, well, what do you recognize? What you're gonna sell your stuff for? Yeah, not a lot. <laughs> and how much is the pike? How much is the difference? Uh, it's about four. It's about the cost of the pike. <laughs> I'm spending almost all my money. No, actually, when I say this, is, yeah, it's going to be about 200 difference. But I wanted to. You want to be safer first. I want to be safer first. Okay. If you want to buy a superior lock, it's sixty thousand credits. Hmm. That's expensive. It's just a lock. But What's it's superior? It's level fourteen. So there's a guy in the back. He's 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 hammering away. He looks like a you know like a Mandalorian metal crafter. So you're going to have you know. No. Light aluminum armor. It's like Mandalorian armor. Yeah, except it's, on the helmet. It's it's it just it just kind of pours and then <laughs> here you go and it's the only thing in the world that can stop a blaster. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a flashlight or What's a lantern for hits. one. Hey, I wasn't are you are you ready now. to shop or no? I You'll get there. I already bought a survival knife today. So I'm just gonna lop no, that one off the front of my. You uh, took the one for the guy. I no, you, I didn't. Yeah, I know. I just put no, it in the book and then I wrote it down. Okay. Okay, if when you're ready to role play the shopping, let me know. Okay. Is Nala ready? I don't think she needs anything right now. Oh, that's boring. You don't want anything? I am offended. Look at all these fantastic waiters I have. Can you not use a better laser pistol? This is this is my handy, trusty uh, azimuth laser pistol. Yes, but what if I had one that does more damage? That hurts more. What if I had one to to keep that delicate? Are you let the skin safer? It is very delicate. Jeez. You see right. razors? Nope. Uh, trial? Nope. Flame? Nope. Plasma? Nope. Okay, you think you, you browse some more. Uh, oh, do I have the same arm? Uh, you, to you, want, you want Mikey or you next, Bob? Uh, we can do Mikey if he knows what he wants. Mikey, do you know what you want? <laughs> Mikey's walking the dog? Uh, could be walking the dog. Is he disappear? Oh, there he is. He's right there. Oh, okay, good. Mikey, do you know what you want? Hey, you I, uh, yeah, you guys keep cutting out. Oh boy. Hmm. Do you know what you want for shopping? Uh, no, not a clue. Bob, you know what you want. I do. Okay, so so two of you get A pluses for your homework. The rest of you get D's and F's. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you want? I want something that is a bit difficult to find. I am not sure that you can provide it. Are you buying tiara? Uh, I have read that there are people who can get from the dragon the item that you put in their throat, and then they... Whoa, Wormling. Mm. Yes, this is it. Yes, we can, we can do that. But it is hard to do for your soaky because your fur wants to catch fire every time you use it. I thought you could make it so you do not catch on fire. Well, because it, according to the rule, I can do that. <laughs> no, I can do that, <laughs> but it, it, it's hard to do. Uh, uh, maybe you choose uh, cold or lightning, <laughs> or electricity, or acid, or acid instead of fire. Mm-hmm. You could do that. Electricity. Maybe I can disrupt electrical things as well. Maybe. And, uh, like a EM pulse. Oh yeah, uh, yeah that's. How about electricity in the throat? Yes, I can do that. Let us do this. <laughs> Let's do this. Is this dangerous? It is a little dangerous. So there is there is an operation involved. There's an operation? Yes, there is surgery. Could I die? Maybe. It is unlikely. Do I get a discount if I die? <laughs> um, I will buy your body back. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I find this quite intriguing. That's actually the only thing I was looking at that I was thinking. The breath about. weapon? Yeah. It's a big deal. 3D6 is a, a nice hit. It, it says you implant uh, the gland of, an, of a dragon modified to function for a creature of your race at the back of your throat. You trigger this gland as a standard action to expel a breath weapon and a 15-foot cone as an extraordinary ability, not magic. You choose a damage type where the organ is biocrafted from acid, cold, electricity, or fire. You're not harmed by using your own breath weapon. Once you've used it, you cannot use it again until you've rested for 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Uh, to regain uh, stamina points. Although you can spend one resolve point to recharge it immediately. 
At level two, it does. Guess how much damage? A lot. I have it right in front of me. Three d six. What? Did you see what it is at the higher levels? It's yeah. ridiculous. Oh yeah. It's... <laughs> but you have to pay one hundred eighty-one thousand credits yeah. for that. Or I, maybe five one. I feel like I have to get this just on principle. I that that's the one that jumped out at me. And you like, become you become Ekerath. I become Ekerath again. <laughs> wait, 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 you you could each get a type, <laughs> and you could be T Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and refuse all of us together as one creature with the, with multiple heads. Yes. T Matt is a, a multicolored dragon that has five it's, heads. It's like Takasus. Uh, I'm, I'm picturing more Voltron with us. Mm-hmm. But anyway. I don't want to be. I the, get that one. I, I would like to be Voltron, but I don't want to be the butt part of Voltron. Whoever that. I want to be the butt. The, I just feel yeah. like I'm fine. I feel like yeah. It's cool. Yes, we could do that surgery in the back. Oh, good. Do you have a list of references of our customers who have done this that I could reach out to and discuss with them? I believe you are familiar with my reputation. I have. You're very. You get excellent reviews on Yelp. <laughs> I work hard. I have three guys in the back putting Yelp reviews in just for fun. Oh. <laughs> Josh gets ready. <laughs> that went from a ghost laugh to a Bob laugh, and we all just. That was, that was a really good transition there. Was, <laughs> Try not to laugh too loud. I don't want to get in trouble again. <laughs> Jeff, no scarf tonight? I was going to buy other stuff, but this looks way too fun, so I've just abandoned my other plans. <laughs> I'm going to blow my wad on this thing. All right. So they take you in the back. Um, did anybody want to observe? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, t- t- I t- am t- absolutely observing. Because uh, t- I'm t- thinking about getting there as well. I am definitely not observing. Trigger t- t- there. Trigger, t- 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 listen. Listen, before they, they do this operation, I want you to know, if I die, Kill everything everybody. I have is, is for you. Everything I have is yours. Are we sure they're not related? Okay. They're, they're pack mates, baby. Okay. Also, also, Trigger, if what? I die, if I die, kill them. Kill them all. No! <laughs> okay? I, I will I will kill all of us. <laughs> all right, thank you. That's sulfurous. I'm so glad I have no sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so it's... It's actually, it's actually a small room they take you back to with a drone to, to monitor. Nobody can actually go in the room except for you and the, and the surgeon. Hmm. Um, we can all still watch. You're all watching. Close caption. Closed caption for the hearing impaired. <laughs> Closed caption for Ghost's Procedure, provided by... <laughs> Ghost, what are you choosing? That's the big... I was thinking electricity, but then... Oh, but there are many things protected from electricity. I mean, my weapon, my pistol is electric. So should I use something else? You can like, choose fire. I was just teasing about it. Uh, no, I understood. I'm going to choose fire. <laughs> All right, so I'm not doing fire. Yeah. Do you, do you remember the deal that we made? Yes. Okay. Acid? Ooh... Electricity? What has multi use? They all they all work all they all have places to be. They're all gonna deal the same amount of damage. No, understood, but you can fry an electrical console with electricity. I, mean, I, I would certainly and give acid you acid. And acid. Uh, yeah, destroy you, it. Or disable it at least. You could you could certainly freeze somebody in place. Like freeze their feet in place with a frost breath weapon. Mm. I think I'm gonna go as, acid. I can open up doors. Acid is exciting. Holes in walls maybe. All right. Breach bulkheads. Um, we we do need to put you under for this. Wait, if I'm in a spaceship and I shoot acid, and does it then drip through the floor plating? I've seen it. You're uh-huh. you're, you're not producing alien level blood. Like, that's not <laughs> okay. So I, if I took acid, I'm not destroying every single. No, can it'll it'll space. bubble a little bit of metal. Okay, and you'll see some uh, hydrogen gas being produced. That's about it. All right, we're doing we're doing acid. Okay, you must be put to sleep for this. No. It is a brief procedure. I do not want no again. I do not want any anesthesia. Of course. I will stay awake. Uh, it does not work that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little disturbing. They bring him in. They, they put him on the table. <coughs> they give him a shot to knock him out. It's a brief job. But then they strap him down. So he doesn't move at all. Hey, what That's you guys what they do. Hey, guys, what are you doing with these straps? Here? Across the shoulders, across the head. Oh, yeah. my. I cannot move they my go head. The mouth? They, they, go in, they go in through the neck. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, and they, so they, the guy goes in, and you're happy not to smell the burning flesh. You know, and, and fur, because the first thing's when it burns. <laughs> so the guy makes you an incision in, 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 in Ghost's neck, he, and, he, and he picks this thing up, and you're like, that is one of the... I, I, uh, and he sticks it in there. <laughs> 
and he does some stuff in there. You can't see the details of what he's doing because the drone is only over here. And it, at one point, Ghost convulses pretty, pretty aggressively. That's why he's strapped down. And, and clear shock. <laughs> he recovers. We're losing him. Stat. Oh, oh, here, wait. Roll oh, I roll off the table, Jules. So roll one. I did roll one on the floor. <laughs> but uh, Ghost recovers. He comes out. Hey, but he can't out. talk. <laughs> no, I'm looking. Yay! You, it, 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 it will. Uh, uh, Diamond comes up, looks at the at the service. It says, service? It, uh, the service." Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did. They have done a good job, but you cannot use it for a couple of days. It must heal a little more. Okay, I am. It very sore. Yes, I, yes. It burns. I believe yes. you should wait, eat some ice Wait till cream. you see about the acid reflux that happens. Uh, <laughs> I, I believe you should be eating ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, All the ice cream you can eat. Uh, how and much do I owe you? What does the book say you owe me? The book says that I owe you 755. Then you owe me 755. Here is 755 credit. Chink. Getting 755 credits just makes one chink. Pew, 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 pew. Chink. There you go. Two or five. I believe I would like to have this as well. That looks fun. What is wrong? Do you have enough funds to cover it? I have enough funds to cover a third of it. <laughs> per our per our previous discussion, uh, Ozzy is, goes in. Is he setting up like a payment plan? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are yeah, the interest rates? <laughs> so when, when, you, when you actually think about what you want and talk about it with your GM, you can come up with some creative ideas. You know what? My character didn't have an existence until the day before we started <laughs> playing. Yeah, so this this deal came up after your. After we started playing, so. uh, this is this is actually a callback to years ago. Yeah. So uh, you fire. want oh you want the two? I believe I would like the fire damage or the fire one. Oh, who, doesn't wish, want a, who doesn't want a lizard that breathes fire? Oh, right? you want to be like a kobold, <laughs> a little dragon man. I, <laughs> I'm a large dragon man. I'm more like a uh, dragonborn. <laughs> if you can make it so I can spit it out, that'd be even better. But we'll talk about that later. Very well. <laughs> Does anybody else want to observe this one? Oh, me. <coughs> yes. Okay. Yes. So they take him back, and they have to use the uh, the big operating room, <laughs> not the normal size one. Like a veterinary. Yeah. Table. <laughs> Instead of a horse. Yeah. It's, it's going hey, from the dog to the horse. I am now speed as well. <laughs> 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 what? They strap him down, and as as they're, as, <laughs> as they're putting him out, you hear, you, you swear, you hear Diamond turn to to ghost. Is there anything you want me to do to him while he's out? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Mikey, can you still hear us good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. Ghost records it on his personal comm device, the entire procedure, so you can have it later. <laughs> and you can put it up on social media. I'll need the evidence. I mean. <laughs> so they, uh, they, they put him out, make the incision, and they... they Pull out this the, a similar looking. While well, yours had a, a significant green tint, this one is a very orangey <coughs> tint. Mm. And it's uh, good to know that they're not colorblind. And they they install it, and it, it, it takes longer than yours. Like there's a problem. Mm. And uh, and they, they come on afterwards. You get to roll your d twenty now. Oh. You go pinky. On oh. I was thinking about pinky. Eleven. Eleven. That's good. And uh, uh, and and diamond says. There are some problems with this one. We know oh. he's he's a big buffoon. What are the problems? problems? So your 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 body isn't taking well to the change. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel <coughs> fine. <laughs> it is not. It is not good. It is not. Here is what we're going to do. It is going to be less effective for now. You must you must rest and heal, and I will only take one third of the cost right now. But it only does one d six damage. Mm. Yeah, Which is exactly how much money he has. Exactly. That it wipes out my entire all my credits. <laughs> <laughs> I also really just want this because I, you know, for the effect. <laughs> so you have so a I can, so I can dragon breath attack action point dragon breath <laughs> attack. <laughs> so you have, you have the ability to breathe once per per the rule. Yeah. But you only do one d six, and it only costs you a, a, a finite amount. If you wish to go back and upgrade it later on to the to match what Ghost got, you can do that for the full price of seven fifty-five. 
Not 16D. <laughs> mm, nice. 26. Uh, Trigger, you have anything? I, I'm trying to figure out if there's something I can have you do with my exoporte. Ah. I'm ready. You're ready? What can I do I'm, for I'm you, pretty, lovely girl? I'm pretty basic. What can I do for oh, you, yeah, lovely basic. girl? <laughs> she basic. Do you want me to take the antlers off? The antennae? I can make you look half human. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what that response. It's so funny. It was funny. Um, so I really like those knives that are on your body. Ooh, you want a, you want a, a knife fest? No, I just want one knife. Just one? Just, just one. Okay. Anything special? No. Really? Okay. If you don't have any use for credits, I could spend them for you. <laughs> no, I have stuff. I'm buying stuff. There's a big stick, a big, big pointy stick on the wall I would like, but I fear it is out of my price range and currently zero credits. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Very well. I'm not a, I'm not a weapon. I don't have my spells. They are are, are there, there, there may be magic items to enhance your spells that you should look for too. I skimmed. There was not anything that... Um, okay. So I'm going to buy my survival knife for a whopping 95 credits. Uh, That's expensive. Well, not compared to the tactical knife that was like 6,500. Mm-hmm. What level so was it? We're buying a, it was like level 4. Oh, no. So we're buying the level 1 survival knife. Um, so you have a melee weapon now too? Yeah. Um... Which can I interest you in a fusion on this? Perhaps it comes when called, or it hides and disappears so nobody can see it. Oh, I like that second one. All right, so what was the fusion you were looking at? There was glamour fusion. I'm calling it up right now. And you can there's way there's two ways to do the glamour. You can glamour the item, or you can glamour in, uh, something you attach to the item, so you can move it from item to item. So here is the glamour, bottom left hand corner. As a standard action, a weapon with a glamoured fusion can be commanded to change its appearance to assume the form of another object of similar size. That weapon retains all of its properties, including its weight when disguised, but it does not radiate magic. Only somebody with a really powerful spell of true seeing can see the true nature of the weapon while it's disguised like this. And after a glamoured weapon is used to make an attack, this fusion doesn't work for one minute, and then it goes back to looking like whatever you want it to look like. You can make it look like a... You know, a bracelet or a necklace. Well, maybe a necklace would be kind of weird for a knife. But, but you could wear like a Wonder Woman bracelet. <laughs> That's true. And it could be your, it doesn't have to be a knife. It could be your pistol if you want that instead. Well, so there's, like, there's two fusions. One is tied to the actual device. And one is like a, uh, <clears throat> call it the chip that you move from item to item so that you can have it on whatever that item. One. That costs more. And it is tied to the levels of the items. So you'll have to buy like a level one or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, the tactical knife is level one, and the azimuth laser pistol is level one. Yes, my survival knife. All right, so you just need a level one fusion. Um, you have the book, so I can't tell you how much it costs. A level one fusion, because I was looking at that too, is one hundred and twenty credits. Okay. It's almost as cheap as a knife. Mm-hmm. All right, so you buy a fusion, uh-huh. which you can affix to the knife or to the laser pistol. What, what page was the fusion on? That's what I was looking for. Actually. That is 191 is where they start. The glamoured fusion is 194. And then, So then you can use that to hide any item uh, as, as on you at a time. Okay. Um, and it takes, I think, 10 minutes to change it from one item to the other. Okay. Nala? I'm you? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. um, I'd also like to buy some, some a, a binder. Yes. I want to buy one of those too. What's the, the binder is like handcuffs. handcuffs? Isn't that the oh, guy who, but who like brings <laughs> forward all the, all the um, bad guys from the yeah, Never right. Never? Okay. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I want to buy the restraints because I feel like that might be more useful than handcuffs. That I don't know. I just want those. I can't make a kinky joke about my daughter. No, no, <laughs> Very well. No. I have a and selection of restraint can, devices over here. For all of us. <laughs> Uh, in, in, in the back, there's a, a selection of restraint devices. My associate will help you with those. Do not look too carefully. Just focus on the restraint section. <coughs> Is there anything else you would like? 
Uh, yes, I want some armor. You have oh. second skin already. Yeah, yeah second skin's pretty good. This is there an improvement to second skin at level two? No. Uh, well, no, you would get a different kind of armor at level two. Now that I've not looked at that so, anymore. All right, I'm going to go back to now. Have you changed your mind? No, I don't think so. Do you want a fusion or anything? Do you want an augmentation? Not yet. Excuse me. There's freebooter armor. That's what I was looking two. at, is the freebooter armor. What's the dex penalty? On light armor, there typically is none. On yeah. freebooter? You can only go up to plus four decks with Freebooter. On second skin, you can go up to plus five decks. But the uh, Freebooter <coughs> armor, instead of giving you, like, second skin gives you a plus one. Plus two. Um, plus one, plus two. Yeah. EAC, KAC. Plus two, plus three. So, so it gives you, it does increase your armor one. It one. boosts your armor class by one each. Which but it's I need. It's expensive. It's 750. <coughs> oh, dang. I bought the, I bought the, the Fusion, and now I'm 720. You can swap it out. You can not get the restraints. The restraints are five. Oh. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to sell? We'll sell your second armor. Here you sell your second skin back. Oh, yeah. That will get you... It's 250, so that you get 25. So it's perfect. So it's enough, yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> in, in one of the, the podcasts I was listening to, somebody sold armor that somebody else bought. <laughs> Did you guys oh. not talk to each other? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the Freebooter armor has no upgrade slots. Just a note. So who took the quick draw then? I did. Not me. Okay. did. So I made sure that my armor has a, a weapon, has, a, has an upgrade slot. Mm -hmm. Although I wonder if her knife does. It's a fusion slot. All right. Mikey, do you have anything yet? Or no? I have, I have no idea what I want. I mean, I, I thought I did, but I really have no idea what I want. All right, we'll cover, we can cover it off, off, off screen. Okay. No? Do you want to buy anything? <laughs> there are no fusion Because the armor that I really yeah. want, technically, is level six. <laughs> level three I would have talked about. <laughs> I was going to say, level six sounds like a hard no to me. It's that Yusho Yusoki armor? Yusoki... Refractor, Refractor suit. 4,120. There's a plus seven, plus seven. You it's got a little ways to get there. Look at those armors at the bottom. Plus 20, plus 21. Yeah. I'll get there. I wanna, yeah, except I the fact that they're almost a million credits. That's gonna be the light armor goes plus 20, plus 21, but look at the heavy armor. Plus 26, plus 27. Mm. So there's nothing I don't think they can do for the, the way Exocortex works? As far as, like, leveling it up? No, I think that's tied to your actual level. It's tied to my actual level, so we can't do anything with that. Correct. Uh, yeah. There's some augmentations, like personal... Uh, like, you can turn yourself into a cybernetic person. Um, can she and you can have like a fix my stuttering leg. problem? <laughs> can what? <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, fix the stuttering problem. Oh, fix the stuttering. stuttering problem. <laughs> Jeff, why don't you get him to the bathroom so you wake up while you walk around for a second? <laughs> I mean, if you... Uh, one thing I noticed is you've got a... There's a data jack. You can turn yourself into a slight cyborg. And then I think a data jack lets you plug directly into computers without needing a tool oh, What? That's after I tripled memory the other day. Wow. Yeah, you know, Bob, you're, you're kind of, so I'm trying to figure out how this mechanic and computer and hacking thing works. I, I'm trying to read more on how that works to try to see. Check All out right. uh, page 209. Check out the data jack. Uh, that might be... Something to think about, maybe. You don't want it, so yes. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure if you needed to. Maybe you're done with it. I'm good. Are you guys done here now? Is there anything else I can do for you? Because you're always welcome with the diamonds. Well, there are a couple of other items. I do not know if you have them. Uh, 50 feet of titanium cable line. <coughs> You can buy that at the hardware store. Okay. Go to Home Depot. Home Depot. <laughs> Star Depot. Star okay. Depot. Space Depot. Space, Space Depot. Yes. Okay, okay Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and uh, he's got 200 left. Uh, I will get a Glamour Fusion as well for my pistol. Very well. Your pistol. Do you want it on the pistol or do you want to be able to move it? On the uh, What's the price difference? 120 versus... I think the 120... 
Mine was two. I got the the switchy one, and it's two twenty. And I go cheap one because I don't have two twenty. On the pistol, please. I, I I can make an exception for any of this, okay? Really? For you, yes. Diamond, you are even better than what they say about you. You are a rock star. I, I know. Thank you. I know that is why I gave him break. Yeah. No refunds, and I still gave him a refund. I know. Big sign, no refund. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you gave me a broken one, all right. I gave you a break. <laughs> you couldn't afford it anyway. You don't know that. What did you eat? <laughs> Sauerkraut and sausage? Perhaps that jack might actually be something I might want to go for. All right. Um, what page was it? What's that? 209. Level two, six hundred and twenty-five credit. Not the hideaway limb. No. <laughs> Here, I've got it on the screen. I think. Oops. That kind of does what I was looking for. I didn't go that far, so that kind of does what I was wanting to do with my exocortex a little bit. I don't know. I don't understand the difference it gives you. It sounds like a flavor. Uh, you have a plus one circumstance bonus to computer checks. Okay. Where do you see the plus one? The oh, last paragraph. That's the, the last paragraph. But that is with the advanced. Oh, advanced data. Oh, I see. You got it. Yep. Yeah, but the standard doesn't do anything for you. No, it's high density gives you the plus one. The standard What's means the data check? you don't yeah. need a you don't need a computer to interface with another computer. You can do it yourself. So if his computer got destroyed... So I guess I guess accessing a damaged computer, this would allow. Or if his computer got damaged, and mm. he, he can't access it with his gear. At least for that first level. I, I don't want... Yeah. Honestly, Mike, I don't know that it has value. Yeah, you know, as you're reading through it and we're talking... Um, it gets rid of the need for an interface to access data, so... But usually you have a tablet or something, you know what I'm saying? I guess it would only be, if he didn't have the tablet, then it becomes useful. That's it, though. So, so by the way, if you turn the page to 211, there's the vocal modulator, level one. A vocal modulator includes a series of miniature actuators built specifically to reshape your voice box, blah, blah, blah. It allows you to change the pitch, timbre, and tone of your voice. You can easily imitate accents or pronounce alien languages. When using disguise to change your appearance, you get a plus two circumstance bonus. I looked at that one. So if you tie that into the hollow skin. I looked at that, yep. That's not bad. The price is one twenty-five. Yeah, that's cheap, actually, for that. What is the pricing system? <laughs> Lower level stuff is cheaper. No, it still makes no sense. Even if you look exclusively at the level one stuff, it makes absolutely no sense. I feel like I'm talking to my own kid. I laid out something that makes perfect logical sense, and you, all you say is it makes no sense. <laughs> I, no, I was going to say, I should yell at you the way I yell at my kid. No, I wouldn't use that language on you in front of you if I could remember. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to. I know. <laughs> I'm going to fill in the info on my character sheet for the weapon, for the knife I bought. You sure? Nothing? Not, not, not Don't know when you'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you guys see the spell thrower fusion? What is uh, it? Fusion is able to have a single spell gem loaded into it at a time. I guess you got to get a spell gem. What level does it start at? Two. Mm. So what does it do? Uh, if you're proficient with wielding the weapon as a full action, you can cast the spell contained within the spell gem rather than make a normal attack as if you were a spell caster with the spell on your sp class's spell list. So so you could bite a spell gem and Jules could charge it with a magic missile and you could fire a magic missile on your turn. Yep. And um, if the spell gem's item level is higher than base attack bonus, once you... I don't know, but I don't know where the spell gem comes from. But you can just buy a spell gem. Yeah. You must succeed in an attack roll with a weapon against an AC equal to the spell gem's level plus one. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, like, it, you basically, like... It's a scroll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rechargeable. Rechargeable scroll. Yes. That's the, yeah. In theory, she could recharge it. The magic yes. missile every every time he uses it. It's true. We could all buy one. And it's it's level two. Oh, well, it's level two, but the, the, the cost... The exclusive to creatures. Right? Yeah. Target yes, but the, crystal. But you can imbue the spell into the crystal, and then they can use the spell to shoot. So the cost of the fusion depends on the item level of the weapon. Interesting. The fusion. Yeah, yeah fusion which makes sense. Crystal after crystals. Oh, the door doesn't 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> I warned you. It looks like the same old thing back there. Uh, can it, litter box. It's a litter box <laughs> with a mat underneath. Well, well, you got what's called that dragon gland. Is that what you guys did? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you want one too? You could improve your armor and get a plus one to your both armor classes and get the free booter armor for 750. Yeah, I saw that, but I mean, I don't know if that's really worth it. I could take a, I could change a skill or something and get that same update. True. Uh, one other thing worth noting, Mike, if you can earn 1,400 credits, you can pay for a personal augmentation and do plus two to any ability score. So you could save up for something bigger. Yeah. I know, I think I might just save it for now. Okay. You and Nala. I like the I like the Venom Spur. The Venom Spur is pretty cool too. Mm. But but you can't be holding anything in that hand. Yeah, I saw that one. Okay, sounds like shopping is good. Yeah, we'll wait for Jeff to come back quick. All right, not bad. Oh, uh, and then oh, I don't have any money now. Four. Never mind. I think somebody should get 50 feet of titanium cable and a fire extinguisher and some handcuffs, some binders. Go ahead. I don't have any money left. <laughs> Make your partner do it then. I, I, whatever it is, I get about. 50 feet of titanium cable might be useful for us. A fire extinguisher, some handcuffs, binders. Fire Doesn't cold. everybody just automatically come with rope? That's kind of the way the game works. As all, every game has ever worked. you got to spend the money. It costs 50 feet is 50 credits. It's expensive. How much, how much are you making ghost spend? Trigger spend? I'm, I'm not making trigger spend any. <laughs> how much do you want to make trigger spend? <laughs> uh, we might find some. Wait a minute. We have all that gear we need to sell. <laughs> oh, we, are, we already converted it. Josh told us it's, it ended up converting to 30 gold each person. So if 30 you, credits. Oh, or 30 credits. So if you didn't... Oh, I didn't uh, add that. Add your 30 onto that, yeah. Okay, into the, sorry, in addition to the 290. That might have been the part where you guys cut out and I lost you for like a minute and a half. Oh, that's possible. <laughs> All right. So you finished your shopping. Yes. You. It's a It's a long day. Yeah. You know, you guys who've had surgery are exhausted. <coughs> The rest of you are just tired from from the. I'm exhausted. You uh, have your. <laughs> I assume you have your meal in the uh, Starfinder cafeteria. They can do. do you have any ice cream? <laughs> Ghost begins. Pistachio. Sipping through a straw, and he starts coughing. For reason. And he begins Wasabi. to cough really violently. Oh, I see now. And he spits out some phlegm onto the table, and, and one of his sizzles. pieces sizzles and puts a hole in the table. He did that. It was not me. That was Trigger. <laughs> I did not do that. Uh, what did we get ourselves into? As the five of you were sitting at dinner, a courier arrives and hands you a <clears throat> jet black piece of paper. Ooh. I hope it's not. It's written rolled, in black rolled ink. up in a, as it, almost like a scroll. Black Ooh. ink on black paper. That's what I'm saying. I hope you it's need, not. You need blue. lemon juice. Why are you I telepathically. Tell Ghost, don't kill him. <laughs> Are you sure? Don't kill the messenger. Are you sure? Are you very Wait sure? Wait a minute. It's an Anandorf cipher. <laughs> it's an Anandorf cipher. I have no idea. What's an Anandorf cipher? Oh, for the love of God. Do you kill the messenger? You need a, you need a key to read an Anandorf cipher. So we it's, don't have a key. it's a rolled up piece of... Paper as black as the void of space. Wait, oh, no. wow, that's okay, deep. We, need, I'm gonna we, need, open it. we need lemons and we need a reagent, so we need lemons and some heat. I'm You're gonna right. read it. Nala, when you tell me <laughs> okay. telepathically not to kill somebody, you mean to actually kill them, right? You are being like ironic. Yes? Yeah, when she says that to you, go she she, she she's just kidding. She really wants you to kill them. That's there should be a voice in your head that says don't kill. It's and that's gonna be me from <laughs> You just became his conscience? <laughs> That's awesome. That's so awesome. No, no. You Ghost. just became his conscience. That's awesome. Ghost grabs the courier, holds a knife up to his throat, holds his arm behind his back. Who sent you? It's all on the paper. 
Yeah, you tell me right now. Ghost! Listen to. It's all in the paper. I, I don't read. know what the paper says. I'm reading Who the paper. You? How did you get the paper? She's reading the paper. I don't care. Who sent you? She's reading the, She's going to read it out loud. You hold on. What does the paper say? So you I unroll the paper. It. It's jet black. The writing is in almost a bone color. White? <laughs> no, more of a bone color. Not white. Not bone sh- is different. Bone no, has like that, that slightly... Yeah, it's slightly white. I haven't seen a whole lot of bones, okay? <laughs> so, aged bones. Like you would see in a skeleton that's been... Um, Sitting in the bones. science class. Your, 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 presence is, your presence is requested at the Eoxium in... Uh, um, Embassy? His embassy to meet with His Excellency Jevalarsk Noor, the ambassador of Eox. Tomorrow, gives a what? date, at 10 a.m. Eox? Do you guys know Eox? Did you read the background stuff? Wait a minute. Somebody read the background stuff I sent out? I did. <laughs> Eox is the undead planet. The undead. That's like yeah. a place you visit. Probably I was imagining when we're like level 25 or this something. Is, this is the, the ambassador from Eox wants to meet with you. What? Why? To, yeah. These are powerful species. Oh. Yeah. He acts as a member of the Pact World. It's no different than any other planet. Uh, except for the fact that it's occupied by undead. You do, you do not undead. go to Eax yeah. on vacation? No. <laughs> you do not. You kill a lot of people and then you go there with you. You kill a lot of people and then you go there when you get killed. That is how it works. Actually, you go there so you don't get killed. Yeah. Actually, mm. so you don't die. Mm. But anyway. Yeah, that's, 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 one of the, that's, that's one of the very few places I haven't been. It's a planet full of dead people, no? Yeah, what, what, who, if I go there, who do I kill? Nobody. They are already dead. He kind of shakes out of your, your hold of, his, of the knife at his neck. Oh, yeah, go. How Let should, him go. How should I respond to his excellency? Tell him we'll be there. Ghost looks disturbed. Excellent. His excellency will be so happy that his excellent. <laughs> I do not. I do not like this. Don't and everybody, 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 give me a perception check, quick. <clears throat> is is uh, is the ambassador a member of the Hell Knights? <laughs> I will give you your Hell Knights stuff tomorrow. 16. Yeah, I think he's on the level. Perception check, Mikey. Four. Yeah, it's with my plus three. Every, everybody who everybody who makes a perception check over five. Well, I did that. Over five. Def- five or over. Yes. Definitely um, can... I don't want to say smell, but you, you, you sense death on this man. <laughs> oh. the, the, the odor of death. Well, I mean, he just have a knife to his throat. Which didn't really scare him. I know that now. Yeah. That, yeah, you don't that know that he was dead or that he just spends a lot of time there. Seems like a good guy. Does everybody... Oh, no, I, I That's because he rolled a one. <laughs> Uh, can everybody give me a culture check? Natural one right there. Uh, you don't have to. No. 14. Not. Unless it's a culture Oh, I rolled a natural one this time. <laughs> what, what culture? Because it kind of makes a difference if we're trained or not. 14. Uh, it just says it's culture. Okay, well, I'm not trained, so no, I can't. Okay, so everybody who rolled a 10 or higher recognizes that, um, or knows that the Eoxian... Um, Embassy is really normally reserved for just Eoxian citizens. You don't, not a lot of people visit there. It's kind of a special thing to be invited. It's unusual. Um, it's usually only on special business or special request that people are allowed, living are allowed in there. Yeah, that's why I want to go. <laughs> are you, are you, it's, it's like great, <laughs> great honor. Aren't they the undead? Yes, they are the yeah. undead. It's the planet of undead, Mikey. Yep. Hey guys, we're important, sort of. It is in the eye. It's not this far is, away. And their diplomat wants to talk to us. Did this say? It does it say when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, ten a.m. Tomorrow, ten a.m. Perhaps okay. work. Perhaps we should go shopping for some holy water. <laughs> <laughs> I am serious. I am not loving. I don't think holy water was in the book. I didn't see it in any of the catalogs. I can, we can get. There's plenty of churches. There's always, there's always churches. <laughs> why, why would they want to talk to us? Who are we? We are nobody. We come on the sheep. I do not like this. Yeah, I but agree. I want to know. Uh, we should oh. go armed. Ah, we shall tell the Starfinder Society where we are going. So that they will expect us to come back, back alive. Yes. yes, it is good. We will tell them that we've told people that we know they know they know where we are. Yes. All right. So you communicate the chiskicks. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, just gets response. I have, I have heard of the, in- I have heard of the invite. Enjoy yourself as much as you can with the dead. How did you hear? How did he? How does everybody know what's going on in our business? This is very disturbing. To just, me. It is my job as your handlers to know do what you, happens. Do you know what I? Uh, what I was watching on pay-per-view last night from the hotel. <laughs> I mean, what else? Skittermanders and Yosoki do not belong together like that. Oh my <laughs> god! He <laughs> knows everything. He hey, knows everything. Hey, Jesus. This is terrible. Hey, 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 Jesus, Jesus! I got a question. I got a question. Yes. What color underwear am I wearing? You're not. <laughs> no, damn it! <laughs> He's good. I tell you, he is good. <laughs> what do you know of uh, this this ambassador? Do you have any information you can share with him? Uh, he has been here for many, many years. He is a... Uh, has an age of the day. Has an age of the day. Mm, <laughs> Looks the same as he did when he got here. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's a, he has a mustache for November. Now. <laughs> he paints it on. Yes. <laughs> Very supportive. I'm not, my mustache is not painted on. <laughs> <laughs> um... He is the ambassador from from Eox. He has been here a long time. He uh, puts on the facade of being a respected person. He tries to mediate what possible. He is supposedly against the corpse fleet, which is a big deal on Eox. I'm mm-hmm. not sure that is actually the case. That's corporation. Yeah, that's a big corporation. No, the corpse fleet is when Eox voted to join the Pact Worlds. Many of the uh, military did not agree with that so they left mm-hmm. and formed a giant mercenary band called the Corpse Fleet mm-hmm. however there is much dis- discussion as to whether they are actually representatives of Eox in disguise or if they are, they are their own ind- individual uh, I believe it's all in the background I said yes, so you can reread mm-hmm. it got it if uh, we are now f- star finders we have responsibilities yes so if this dead guy says I have a job for you do we do the job? Is this a conflict of interest? If he says, kill somebody for me, what, what? then can I kill them? It is very <laughs> unlikely he will ask you to kill anybody. Unlikely. He's already dead. <laughs> He's been in a deal with a bunch of dead people. He represents a plan of dead, dead people. people. Well, what could he ask us for? What, Mikey? Oh. I said he's not going to ask us to kill him. <laughs> no, that is yeah. true. He's a CR-13, so you're not going to kill him. They are very smart. <laughs> hey, do, 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 do we need to be worried about them? I, I haven't had a lot of experience with these. No, is that- this, is, this, this is on the up and up. Ah, uh-huh. I heard there are many archaeological sites on the planet. I'm not going to the planet. The planet I want to go. Of the dead people. You are crazy. I want to I, I know. To watch a video. Mm. You do not need to go there. There are no videos. For, people don't go there. Go to Hollow Street. <laughs> I want to be about. the one that makes the video. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> you go. You go. I'm not going. No, I'm staying in this cafeteria <clears throat> and I'm eating the crappy Swiss cheese. Yes. <laughs> Just holes. You realize... <laughs> We're not being invited to the planet. We're being invited to the ambassador. To the embassy on Afton Station. Yeah, this and then you might ask us to go to the planet. Yeah, that exactly. Would be so cool. Come to my get... planet. Relax. I have a lovely island for you where you never escape. And I kill you. And then you come back again. I've seen this. I've seen this so many times. Just, just, Does this just, happen to you before you've been there? No. Just because <laughs> is going to, to, to vouch for Gervalar Norris and say nothing bad will happen to you on Absalon Station while you're working with Gavilar Norsk. Except for okay. your dwarf who got shot in the head. Nothing he was not, but he was not, he, he was not killed he was not killed by he was not killed by the undead he was killed by humans. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I think they're going to invite us to, to, to their planet for a spa retreat. Spa retreat. They're oh. great, they have great skin stuff. Great. <laughs> I mean they've been dead for a long time and look how good they look. He it would be vacation for you, no killing. You would relax. That not sounds have to worry about. <laughs> You're making it worse. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Are you kidding? A vacation for no him killing. is killing. Oh, <laughs> only killing. His whole face. Yes. Yes. God. What uh, does that mean? Um, if for some reason, I don't know why, if he asked us to go to the planet, we can go, right? Yes. No, no, oh. we are. Oh. If you wish. I do not wish. I do not wish. No. I wish enough for you. Wish I may, I wish I might. 
go to Yax this very night. <laughs> <laughs> so the night winds down. Oh, uh, Trigger, can you use okay, your skills in computers to okay, research what? the ambassador and why he might want to speak with us? Can I, can I what? You keep breaking up, Bob. Can you research using your computers the ambassador in... Yeah, I can plug into the Starfinder's computers and research uh, anything they have about the ambassador. Forget the Starfinder's. Can you hack into the embassy and find out what they, what dearth they have? Do you mean their own embassy? Yes. Yes, I can attempt to hack into the embassy. DC is 50. <coughs> oh. uh, what is it? <laughs> the DC is 50. It's not happening, Mike. Well, I'm going to assist him. DC is 50. <laughs> I'll assist it, it, with my computer. I mean, it's an embassy. you like trying to hack into the U.S. embassy 20. in Russia. <laughs> Did you roll on that 20? No, uh, I rolled a 14, so okay. I got plus 6. I say, yeah, Mike, you could get it with a 20. Okay. <laughs> not even a natural thing. It's an automatic success. It's just not a crit. That's how a five-year-old or a ten-year-old kid breaks into the Pentagon systems. I think. I've seen more. I've seen all more the times. <laughs> We're going uh, to predict. Yeah, that's not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> a ten and a four and a twelve. You're, you're well, trying. <laughs> I'm plus two. Are you locked out? Two. Three attempts. You're locked out. What? <laughs> well, he rolled a nineteen. Wait, did you try writing the password? Did you try password as the password? I think oh, hold that's on, hold on. Ah. <laughs> it didn't work either. Oh, that's too bad. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on a second. Password one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? One, two, three, four, five. Just like the combination. <laughs> the com- that's the combination on my luggage. Oh, wait, I remember my password now. It is this, of course. <laughs> Being dead rules. <laughs> We're going to the dead planet. We're going to uh, the dead So where can we find holy water on the station? <laughs> We're just wandering around. Yes, that in his can, can, voice. Can I, know that this can, is I fold, can I fold the ray of sunshine into a handkerchief? No, you cannot. Damn it. But you could cast the light spell into a handkerchief. <laughs> I, I get a bunch of water from the cafeteria, and then I go to a temple of Triune. Actually... You are a mystic. You could bless it yourself. Oh my god, that's right. You're a mystic. This guy has, can bless has, water, but has, I can't. He, he has a skill. He has a, a level of mysticism. Do you, Jules? My, um... I thought I did. I thought you took one. My theme? Oh. Is oh, mystic. I did. I took one since last time. So Jules can do it, too. He spent time with a, uh, as in his childhood uh, for four years being raised by a priest of the uh, god of piracy. Piracy? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Kill people and take their crap. <laughs> Amen. That explains a lot. Mm-hmm. Piratitude. Piratitude. Mm-hmm. Arr. Yep, he makes some holy water. Do you need a mystic check? No. Right. <laughs> uh, he makes a. He gives each of you a sippy cup, which has water in it. This is for you. This is for you. Oh, this thanks. I was you. getting really thirsty. I'm drunk. Do not drink it. No, do not drink it. <laughs> But my throat is still oh, no. sore from yesterday. Rob everything, loot everything, go with blood. Okay, here. What? <laughs> this is for you. Do not drink it. What did you say? <laughs> blood everything, blood is good, go with blood. <laughs> Rob everything. Rob everything. Loot everything. Mm. Kill everything. Go with blood. All right. <laughs> the, the night passes uneventfully. Um, are you in? Tr- are you in um, Trigger sharing a room still, or have you chosen to have your own rooms here? Same room, I think. Unless Trigger no, disagrees, we're, we're sharing. We're sharing rooms. Yeah. Once again, there's an anonymous message for you in the morning when you wake up. Congratulations on your induction to the Starfinder Society. This guy, this guy is jerking us around. I do not like it, Trigger. Can is this for all of us? Or just no, the two of them? just the two of them. Is there any? Is, it, is, it, is there any possible way to try to? Backtrace where the message came from. You're level two. He is higher than that. (laughs) (laughs) The point is to have a little mystery, tie to your backstory a little bit, annoy you a little bit. (laughs) No, no, no. That's all right. I mean, it's it really does kind of suck to your level five for my character. (laughs) For all characters. Yeah. No, I guess that's true. Mm -hmm. All right. So they take you. uh, you, No, thank you. You guys head over for the Gravelar snore? 
Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, you you make it to the Eocene Embassy in uh, Embassy area, and um, it's already it's as, as you get there, it's a pretty intimidating place. It's all um, black marble, gothic, uh, bone pale limestone, vaulted ceilings, sepulchral furnishings, disconcertingly organic architectural details. Vic and oh, alien. Oh, Josh, Josh, I I, have, I bring I bring a jar of Vicks with me. Yes, rub it under my nose holes. Mm. Whatever works for you. Mm. There are a pair of... Do you have nose holes? Uh, yes. <laughs> as you come up to the gates, there's a, a an undead yeah. guard there. He I takes your so. um, your invitation. Oh, and, wait a minute. Jules, you I have just the think you know, I think it was impolite that you asked him about his holes. <laughs> what is that? It's impolite you asked him about his holes. <laughs> he takes your invitation... Um, immediately, within minutes, two undead skeletal attendants arrive. Will you please follow us? Do they smell, or do they have absence of smell? They do not smell. They do not smell rotting flesh. Okay. Um, okay, so they're not, like, they're they're not like actual skeletons. These these guys are actually just skeletons, oh. but they are oh. they are able to oh, so to cool. articulate um, words. Even though they don't have wow. a tongue. Right. Yes. There you go. I do not like this. Just like this is not good. Oh, no, no, no. Go, ghost. I, I don't like this either. Maybe you, we should leave. I do not like this. Maybe we should, but um, let's see if the little girl knows how to interact with them okay first. Uh, otherwise, we'll just kill them all. <laughs> but no! But Trigger, Trigger, they are already dead. Yeah, but, but just because they're already dead doesn't mean they can't be... M- mostly dead. <laughs> oh, you are smart. Okay. All right. All right. So they escort oh, you. They es- escort you around. It is a dreary, intimidating kind of place. It definitely brings your spirits down a little bit. Um, everybody, give me a. I don't think it's a morale check, but I'm trying to figure out what the appropriate check would be for this. I'm guessing more of a wisdom check. Okay. So everybody, give me a wisdom check. Do you have to be smart enough to be intimidated? How does that work? Seven. Use your wisdom modifier. Yeah. DC 12. Or willpower. Wisdom as well. That didn't count. It bounced There's off a the will. Books. The will check? There's a, oh, yeah, you make a will saving throw. Sorry. Okay. Just make oh. a will saving throw. Never mind. Do I get to reroll? <laughs> it gets a DC 12. <clears throat> What's uh, 3 plus 1 again? Is that more than 12? No. Damn it. Roll 20. That's roll 20. Fail? 15. You succeed. Mikey, what'd you roll? 19. 19. So those who fail just have a minus one to, uh, to all checks while in here. Just from the, the intimidation factor. I'll remember of, to forget that. You're not going to need to roll it. I'm just making it a flavor. Yeah. <laughs> all of you who are afraid, you know, they, they, they're just mostly dead. Uh, I don't know if so that's... So I'm still allowed to have the same amount of optimism singing we're going to the dead planet? You you can be happy-ish. This gives me no comfort, Trigger. No comfort at all. Are you projecting your happiness to the others? Yes. Psychically? It's kind of annoying. <laughs> really annoying. So they, they lead you around. That's, that's my name. That's, uh, I'm, a, I'm a curious optimist. <laughs> you're an annoying optimist. Yeah. yeah. They lead you into the uh, ambassador's office. It's sparse, but it's well pointed. It, it, and sitting there is uh, the Eocene ambassador they introduced to you. As Gavilarsk Nor, I actually have a picture. Is there a picture? There, of course, there's a picture. There's always a picture. Excellent. To your left, Bob. Oh my oh. god. The elongated cranium. There is no flesh on his face. Okay, it is a he. There is no flesh on his face. Jeff is fading out at the. No, watch him. Watch him. Uh, <laughs> I like the jaunty like scarf. Of, it looks like one of those crystal skulls. Yeah. Uh, another I than know what you're talking about. His skeletal countenance displays no scrap of flesh and an eerie light burns in his otherwise empty eye sockets. Oh, that's so cool. He, he opens his mouth and yet somehow words come out even though there's clearly no tongue or, or muscle structure in there. Mm. Oh, greetings, my oh. friend. Gre- greetings, oh. Starfinders. Hi. I am, I am appreciative of your choice to visit me today. I wish we hadn't. No one cares. I have need of your services that I think could be profitable, mutually profitable to all of us. I knew it! Ah! I knew it! Who do you want us to kill? No, stop! 
We'll see about that in a few moments. Oh my god. Mm. Do not let him kill anyone. So, I'm him. sure you're aware of what has been happening outside of the station with the Acreon and the Drift Rock. Yeah, it's on the news. Yes. Well, as a diplomat, there are times it is in my best interest to find an equitable solution to factions that don't necessarily involve me. So I am acting as a mediator in this matter, and I would like to hire you, based on your recent work, to fly to the Acreon, examine what happened there, and perhaps the Drift Rock, and report back what you've seen and learned and what occurred there. The ship is uh, is in quarantine right I now? I have arranged with the, pact, with the pact authorities to give you access there. Where is the ship now? The ship, the Acreon, is still out there. But you will be taking the Hippocampus, a vessel that I have arranged to have outfitted specially for this purpose. Isn't that a, isn't that a Wait a minute. Oh, hold on a second. How do we get to the Hippopotamus? <laughs> the Hippocampus is a ship that is here already. It is being outfitted specifically for this mission. Ooh, when do we get to go? Wait a minute. My God, you need to slow down. You're the one that's always trying to kill everybody. I just want to have a little adventure. You're talking to Skeleton Guy over here. Yeah, he looks so cool. He is the bad guy. <laughs> I am telling you now, he is the bad guy. Why you am I the bad, bad guy. Why am I the bad guy? Mm. He's the diplomat. Everybody here who is leaving, raise your hand. Yes, we are the good guy. Everybody I... who is dead, raise your skeleton hand. I am a <laughs> member of the Pact Worlds. I have been here for 15 years and I'm well respected in what I have achieved. Your Do you want insults him to kill you? are making me unlikely, un- unpleased with what I'm offering you. I am offering you the opportunity to explore this for fame and fortune. Whoa, whoa, wait a, did, what was that last one? Fortune. <laughs> I feel like you're putting us in between the Heart Scrabble Collective. And the oh, look, in a hard place. Yeah. Astral... and astral extraction. Oh, who cares? We get to see the pretty rock before everybody else does. <laughs> does she come with an off switch? Maybe between a rock and an ass. I have an off switch. There is. You have... on my pistol. <laughs> there is her. Do you want me to turn her off? You have no link to either of those organizations. In this case, you are working for me. <clears throat> right, and that I believe is the problem. Because we would go to the place where both the Hard Scrabble Collective and Astral Extractions want to go for fame and profit. I gotta turn my volume down. <laughs> you go there, you. We can be like super sneaky. I would like you to go to the Acreon, pre- find out precisely what happened to its crew, mm-hmm. and ascertain the value of the asteroid cargo, as well as determine whether this drift rock is truly as mysterious as the media claims. Can I do a sense motive check to see if that is truly sure. what he would like us to do? Yep. Okay. Uh, you guys might want to roll that as well. Oh, that would be so... know to do that. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Like, we poorly. would be the first supposed I rolled to a natural know three, which happened. Turns into an eight. We would get to look uh-huh. at the rock and we would get to figure out what exactly it is. Oh my god, this is so exciting! We're going to get us kicked out. 19. I mean, he's he's a diplomat. He's he's well and a, and a very experienced one. He's also CR thirteen. You you have no reason to believe what he's saying is a lie, but you also recognize that he could be outside of your scope to determine that he is telling you the, not telling you the entire truth. He clearly does have an interest in this. He's made arrangements with the station to get you there with both with both organizations. So what are you not telling us? Yes, you are hiding something. There is something it is my, in this. Of there course, I, I wish to... You have a person. I am a mediator. I will look, I will collect fame yes, you want for mediating this happy. dispute. Yes, yes, fame. You've been here 15 years. You have fame. You have skeleton face. You must keep the fame as, as coming. I feel like you want something else. What do you want from us? Because I know greed, and I see greed in you. There is a detail that i like you ask to ask for your help with. Uh, here it is. There is a package. Who do we kill? In no, the there is no killing. <laughs> God, dude, there is totally a... blowing it. What? There is a package on the on the Acreon that is addressed to me. I would prefer that it be 
transported to the hippocampus once you locate it and return to me here on the station. Why, I will why? guarantee you that there is nothing illegal or inappropriate within its contents. Why is there a package to you on the ship? Guarantees from a diplomat who is not a vest mean nothing. How big is this package? Bigger than a bread box. Since Smaller than a car. Since what about his okay. guarantee 13? Yeah, he, 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 I mean, he's, he's telling you, he's, he, he, he's not lying from you, you can tell. What is in the package? Then? <laughs> that is not, that, that is not <coughs> relevant to you. Well, I will go there and... I feel like it's kind of relevant to for Then that is up to you. Then why not just tell no, me now? Because you know I will open it when I get there. He will definitely do that. I will pay you 600 credits to go to the Akrion and explore and tell me what has happened. Each or total? Each. Ooh. I will give you 500 more credits ah. each to return to, to send back my package. You know, I much, like this guy. I think this, how, we should do this. How much if we send it back unopened? So wait, 1,100 credits? Uh, 1,100? That is what I stated. Do you have a hearing impediment as well? Oh, this is mean. Trigger, tell me if you want to yes, get this. No! Baby. Huh? Give yourself a penny. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> he does be breaking it up. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger, it's back to you. Go ahead. Trigger pisses on his floor. <laughs> I hate it when the rats cannot control themselves when you they come here. You two are totally blowing it. You, you, you're a scary skeleton head talking with no tongue or... I would also God. be in your debt. Oh, you a favor hey. if you were to return my package. You, 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 you had me at eleven hundred credits. I am in, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, Robert, language. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Oh, I'm oh, you, uh, oh, sorry. I suggest you visit the Acreon first, and then go from there to the Drift Rock. Aren't they tied together? The there are several tow cables that attach them. You could traverse those via spacesuit, or you could fly the hippocampus. But I do not know if there's a landing place on the drift rock. Oh, do we have spacesuits? Are you All of your armor doubles in spacesuits. Okay. Yeah. But and, the and level there'll be spacesuits on the hippocampus. And here's mm-hmm. something interesting. The level of your armor is how many days you can last in space without error. Oh, cool. Oh, Good thing that's just just what you want. I didn't realize it was actually in the book. So your armor will allow you to survive in space for two days, but my armor will only let me survive in space for one day. Oh, well, you know. Fortunately, it should not be there that long. In space. What do you know of the Acreon? Is it, uh, why is it, uh, why is there, where are the people? That is why you are going there. Have you done scans of the ship? Yes, nothing is, nothing conclusive has been scanned. There's no, no life signs? No. You do x-rays inside? There is no dead signs either. There's, oh my god, this is a world where there's dead signs. <laughs> I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> no, but that makes sense, right? How do undead detect other undead? Uh. Oh, there's a detect on dead spell. Heat scan. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight. You are trying to mediate between the Hard Scrabble Collective and Astral Extractions. Correct. And we need to give you the information to help you mediate that. Actually, a drone comes floating up at his, you know, just in this. I shoot it. No wait. <laughs> This drone will be a, will be following you and recording your every move to be broadcast for everyone to see. Oh, that's terrifying! Wait a minute, who's holding here? <laughs> <laughs> this will this will <laughs> allow us to here. have <clears throat> every everyone will see the same thing. Do you want the knowledge of your package to be known? Because this drone will broadcast that information as well. We there will have to split up. There 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 may be a delay on certain parts of this that I will filter out. You confirm. Is it broadcasting, transmitting, or it is storing and then depositing? It is broadcasting and transmitting. Mm. There is such interest in this that I believe uh, will be forced to broadcast portions of this as it occurs, almost live feed. So you're hiring us to be on your reality show? Exactly. <laughs> you will get so many hits. I am very popular. I tell you, I am a fan favorite. Do we have an icon? Are you an icon? No. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, That's if you true. succeeded this, you, if one of you was an icon, it would make a huge difference. I was kind of disappointed when Jeff didn't take icon. <laughs> so the hard scrabble in astral uh, extractions, they both lay claim to the rock? Correct. Who owns the 
ship, the mining stuff on the ship. So the ship, the Acreon, yes. is a Harb Scrabble collective ship. So then the problem is solved. It belongs to Hard Scrabble. The Hard Scrabble Collective was hired to scan and research mining locations. By astral By astral projections. So they were hired to scan, but the objects of the scan belong to Hard Scrabble. What is the it, it, that is that is the, the, the nature of the dispute. Is there a contract? I can look at the contract. I have some skill. In this. There are lawyers doing that now. Eh. Okay. People far more skilled than you and I in, in the words department. Why do you not send your people to this mission? Because you have already been involved. The Starfinders are a well-known neutral party in most cases, as well as the fact that you have already... S- between us, I know what you have found. And your Travel skills... Lose travels fast. Your skills are, are, are will work will resolve fine for this. But you are neutral as well, so you can send your people. As you notice, yourself eleven hundred. As you notice, there is some mistrust for my people. Hmm. And yes. as you have demonstrated. Yes, that's true. You have demonstrated. Eleven hundred credits buys a lot of mistrust. Yes, it's a lot. Yes. You've been quiet. Are you good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should have been doing the talky bits. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would have had to have been, you know, <coughs> completely white. Yeah, we wouldn't have insu- I would have been insulted the ambassador half as much if <laughs> <laughs> if our fearless leader was doing. The talking <laughs> Could have avoided an interstellar incident. Are there any questions? What do you know of the Hell Knights? Very little. Good they are an, or an organization. They have several factions amongst themselves, each with different beliefs. They travel the packed worlds in citadel-sized ships. I can see if I can find more information for you. If you could help me find them, that would be wonderful. Is there a specific faction you are interested in locating? Let me do some research and get back to you on that. Sure. I've not had time to research the factions. (laughs) In game. If we find anything valuable on the ship, did you do we get to keep it? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, this is looking better and better, I must say. I, I feel like stealing from the Hard Scrabble Collective is probably a bad idea. Is anybody on the ship that, if there's anybody on the ship alive, can we kill them? <coughs> it would be preferred. I'm just, I'm just asking for ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> asking for a friend. <laughs> it would be preferred that anything living. Would be brought back living, and the right, undead would be brought back want undead. Because it, back too? it seems like that's your thing. <laughs> Anything that is still intelligent and alive, return. Try to return because they would be able to tell us what occurred, what are, transpired. Are you going to tell Hard Scrabble in Asphalt that we are investigators? I have already informed them. We haven't even said yes yet. You will. I already did. So actually, let more. us say that <laughs> Astral, Astral is a big corporation. Hard Scrabble is the tiny corporation. The Hard Scrabble is not a corporation, but a group of miners, a band. Okay. They're more like a guild. Yes. Uh, a family. So Astral has more money than yes. they have a corporation. What is to stop them, me, when I say them, I mean me, from saying, pay me 2000 and I will tell you what I find. You see the problem here. That is why I'm sending the drone. And if they pay me 3,000, <laughs> perhaps the information will be lost in the drone. You see the risk here. I think you solve this very easily. Yes, that is why I've gone to members, of the respected members <clears throat> of the Starfinder Society. Uh. Can you define respected, please? <laughs> okay. The deal is there. Okay. This yes, guy's take it. Take it or think... find a new campaign. <laughs> <laughs> no, the 1,100 credits. We'll yeah, go as far it. away from there as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so I, take, I have a plan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> e and, and we need a sheep. The ship yes, will take you there. Yes. No, I say... We take the hippocampus at the end of this. The hippocampus is a 
Shut up. Without grip drive, you will not accomplish what you seek to accomplish. Oh, that is not a good question. Okay. okay. It, is a, it is a Absalon Station shuttle. Okay. I am just having it outfitted with a few extra special modifications for this. So the, the station is here, and then you have to fly to a quarantine zone? Correct. This is where the Acreon is? Yes. And the asteroid? Are we getting on there with no trouble, or is this a stealth mission? This is on the up and up. The pack for the knows. Epsilon. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we're going to be broadcasting live ish. <clears throat> so we fly doing? from Station Absalon <coughs> in this tiny shuttle all the way to the ship where yes, there it are. It is only several hours. Several hours. Oh, that's good. I can watch a movie. <laughs> and then we arrive. What are the inflated entertainment? <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. I want to know what happens to Bridget Jones. 47. <laughs> we 47. must have that movie. We must have that movie. Then we get there, and then we go in this dead ship, and we find the answer to your question, and then we record it with your ball, and then we get your sneaky package, and I look inside your package because you know I am going to, and then we come back, and you pay us the money. That is what you are saying we are doing. We want half up front. Oh, Trigger, you are smart. <laughs> <laughs> We may have to outfit ourselves with some extra uh, equipment. I can quit my bike with six hundred, with uh, five hundred and fifteen credits. Tickets to another station. <laughs> <laughs> Put it all on black, baby. Speed the wheel. I will advance you half of the six hundred credits each. That's it not, it that's is eleven hundred. You are paying us 1100 Yeah, but it's split. But, but yes, but the 600 is for exploring the Acreon. The 500 the is for returning my package oh, unopened. Yes, yes. Okay. Unopened. So you're giving us half of Un- the first part. Unopened. Seacoast, if you want the Wait, money. Unopened? I believe that is the word I just used. Twice. If you want the money, you can open it. If he opens it, <coughs> the rest of us still get the money. Clearly not. See, don't, don't do this to all of us. Yes, Did yes. Did you buy the man unopened? Unopened. The binders? Did yes. you buy the binders? Okay, good. We're going to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. He transfers 300 credits to each of you. Oh, good, because I only have five Does mean no freaking good. <laughs> Maybe you could borrow from, from now. Now? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, how many credits do you have now? 1,200. 505. Jesus. 305. Oh, my God. 200 more, and you can get an ability score upgrade. Get my horrible constitution up. <laughs> Plus two to any one ability score. I know. Wow. I do not know what you will find over there. Uh, All the scans have come back me. with nothing. Except what is in the package. You know it's in your package. Uh, of course, I know it is in my package. That is correct. What is the drift rock, anyways? What is your asteroid? What? What is the drift rock? What is the rock at the back of the... Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you in my voice because my voice is failing. Okay. Um, it, is, it is uncommon to find things in the drift. Oh. However, when you go through the drift, it does... Every time you go through the drift, it pulls off part of another plane and puts a small piece of that. Normally, it's just dead space. But in this case, it actually <coughs> pulled off a piece of something. And they found it and pulled it out of the drift. I see. So it's not an asteroid that they found in regular space. It's they an were, asteroid they found in the drift. In the drift. So that could be from anywhere. anywhere. It could be amazing. In anything, yes. Got it. Okay. Now you understand the yeah. interest in that. Wow. And why it's called the drift rock. Mm-hmm. Yes. I should come by that too, just now, by the way. Drift you what? Drift rock. Why it's called drift <laughs> By the way. It took me a little while to figure that out, to realize all those pieces. This is insidious. The fact that every time you use a drift drive... A chunk of reality gets stolen and put into the drift. It is kind of scary. There are thousands of people using drift drives every day, hourly even. Yeah. Like the drift is is ripping away reality left and right. But think about how much empty space there is to pull from. Hmm. Anyway, true. do we have an agreement? Yes. Clearly, she is going without anyone else if you'd fail to say yes. Oh, yeah, I'll totally go by myself. I really don't I wouldn't go. I don't want to go with him. I'm Somebody else needs to come. I'm from the last deal that I made. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get that to you. 
You have to give me something to work with too, though. I, 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 yeah. Or you could start making it up. I already gave him stuff to work with. He hasn't okay. back, got back to me. <laughs> That's on him. Well, you, yeah, I also don't want to, don't know what direction I want to go in right now. I'm just trying to play the character that I set forth. Got to figure out where I want to take him. Fine. They uh, just sent you the information that morning, by the way. It includes all the details I've already sent you about the Hell Knights. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the different factions, what they do. <laughs> Yep. You can flip me off now. <laughs> My hands are too cold. <laughs> Very well. The ship leaves tomorrow afternoon. Everything takes a day around here. It's still <laughs> there, still outfitting it. That gives you the opportunity to, to purchase any more equipment you need as well. Mm, that's true. Actually, you can leave tomorrow morning because you'll have the afternoon to purchase equipment quick. Now that you know where Diamonds is. Cool. I want my tricorder. <laughs> Mikey has it in his head. <laughs> We're going yeah, on you don't, a trip you don't need one of those. in a private rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare finish that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no, no. The space. <laughs> Little Einstein's. <laughs> oh my god. That show was freaking terrible. Oh, you were right, inventing the back to something that the, tone. the older people will remember. The great space ghosters. I'm on board with that, Mikey. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so it took a little longer to get here than I expected. It is 11.30. <laughs> I think it was a productive session. I, I, I enjoyed this. It's nice to get fun. some time in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this was fun. So we didn't waste two hours on tech, and we didn't leave an hour because of rain and get started late because of other things. So. We're getting better with the tech. It yes. Took a little less time this time. Yes. Um, and I think it was a nice mix of combat and everything else. So that was good. Mm -hmm. We have some direction now. It was excellent, and I like our new quest. Uh, I'm wondering... I don't, like the, I don't like the guy that gave it to us, but... <laughs> yeah, would you trust that guy? Like, if you, you were buying a used car from <laughs> Gevarlar Snor, I don't know if I would buy the car, but go ahead and explore a deserted spaceship, uh, or at least an spaceship in quarantine, whatever the heck's up with it. Uh, yeah, we'll do that, no problem. But buy a used car. No, no, no. If he was like working behind the counter of like Rite Aid Pharmacy and I was getting my medication and I saw him behind the counter, I'd be like, uh, I'm just going to go to CVS. I'm taking what you're not taking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. You're not the guy I want to buy drugs from. All right, Mikey, we good? I'm good, boys. Hey, dude, Happy New Year, although we'll be there first. Yeah, we yeah. Oh, that's so weird. That's true. Happy New Year, Mikey. Happy New Year, you guys. Did you, uh, two weeks? Yeah, I don't think we got too far into January. We got to double check our schedule. Yeah, we'll double check the schedule tomorrow. And we got to organize that last week of January. So we are playing that day. Are you definitely going to be in the area, Mikey? Uh, the last week of January? Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, we're playing We're playing that night if it kills us. I will make sure I... That is, a, that is a definite. I will be in Sheltonia. And, um, <laughs> oh... Did you say you were, you were bringing your meatballs too? Awesome. Uh, I'm bringing meatballs. <laughs> Where's he going to cook them exactly? I have a kitchen. If, uh, if you don't mind me coming to your house early to cook, then yes. <laughs> I, I do have to say, I was my sister-in-law, whose parents are, are fresh off the boat Italians, made meatballs for Christmas. And as soon as I tasted them, I'm like... This is three meats. There's uh, there's pork, pork veal, and uh, you know, I'm like, these are freaking Mikey's meatballs. It was a, they were so good. It's funny. I, I will be happy to cook if uh, I have a kitchen. Mike hasn't attended game night in person for two years, and the first time he comes back, he gets cooking duty. That's I have not played with Mike at the table. Whoa, that's Mikey, we will see how that works out because if, if Amy or I, if Amy's still working from home or whatever, we can get you a kitchen. Okay. If you wanted to do it, I'm only, I'm only teasing about it. I, I, I would love to do it actually. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, all right, boys. Sign it off. All right, see man, you, take Mikey. Care. Thank Bye, you. Mikey. Bye, Mikey. Bye, Mikey. Happy New Year.